Uh, uh, yes, please. Uh, can you hear me to here? Yes, sir. Cool. Our video is, hold on. Oh, there we go. What's up, peeps? Appreciate y'all pulling up tonight. Last night of the week. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. What up, though? What's popping, my boy? That's good. Team Money? Hey, man. Just just chilling, brother. Are you going to send them shoes yeah. back, back, though? When can I get my shoes back? Which ones you talking about, my boy? Oh, man. The shoes with the guitar, man. I'm a lit, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man. You knew. You 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 gotta step on bugs in the pyramid. No, those are some some fancy <laughs> duds. I said these are some these are amazing. They were nice, man. Really nice, man. Shout out to LFLS shoe company, black owned shoe company. You know what I'm saying? Say word. Gotta step on bugs. Woo! Hold on in here. Let's have a good time tonight, man. We're gonna be chilling. You know what I mean? How you feeling, bro? Yeah. I'm tired, bro. We um I literally I got cut from set at six about six fifteen, six seventeen, and came back to the valley, literally had enough time uh to run upstairs, use the restroom, and then come in and, and, and get started, bro. So I've been I've been running all day. Am I am I tripping or are we busier now? Bro, I am so much Man. busier now. Ah, Kenan, I'm, I'm like, to. bro. Yeah. So I was I'm, I'm I'm shocked at how busy I'm shocked at how busy that I am because I was nervous about all this stuff. Like I'm sure mm -hmm. most of us was. I was just like, Man, money's actually still coming in. I appreciate all opportunities. Man, bro. You doing juice fast right now? What you, what you got over there? It looked like some pressed. This is water. Your water green, bro. <laughs> it's just <laughs> <laughs> just water. Your water is green. Nah. He said, nah. "You say to here." You see how he said, "Nah," but didn't show us. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Drink your pond water, man. Go and drink your, your amphibian water. Hey, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to live, BT. You out here eating salads and hot dogs all in one. I mean, listen, that's no carbs. Chop a hot dog over a salad actually don't sound like a bad idea. I ain't gonna even hold you. That's hey, horrible, I, I, would, I wouldn't recommend that. Don't you chop up no hot dogs over what nobody's salad. What if it's a vegan hot dog? What if I take a vegan dog? Still, still. A vegan that's hot terrible. dog over a salad? That's kind of lit. Y'all take vegan burgers uh, and ground them up? Nah. nah. Oh, okay. Young Bell. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. To here, I almost didn't see you. You blended in too much with something. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, y'all? Hey, man. Well, hey, I, I came in on vegan burgers and salads or something. I don't know what I was Vegan eating. hot dogs. Vegan hot dogs over a salad. That's uh, Keenan just cooked. He says, he says, he says, I delicious. dare you didn't cook that. That's what he said. He said, vegan chili cheese. <laughs> look at look at look at the way BT looks and built. Right, that's a BT thing. That is not a, <laughs> a Keenan thing. No, it's only because I'm slouchy. If I sit up, then it's like yeah. yeah. I Wait, gotta so you, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a slouchy doesn't mean, mess up how you shirt. look. Up. This is a big shirt. <laughs> No, I do not know what inspired this great streak, but I appreciate it. Man, you know what? If I'm gonna be real honest, uh, I, I've seen uh, uh, the Temptations like six times uh, since since March. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember that nigga uh, Flynn? 
They were roughing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, if I got to wear a mask, you're going to need to see, you're going to need to know who I am before I get, to, I don't want these mix up. So I was like, you know what? How can I identify myself without getting a tattoo on my forehead? There it is. I appreciate it. Or uh, dress like to here. That, that's what it was. It was one of the. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm always here just minding my black business. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just minding my business. Baby. You want to say hello? Hey. You want to say hello? Yes. Oh, no, my hair. Oh, I asked my mom. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? <laughs> That's a black mother right there. That's my a black hair. mom right there. My mom's like, Mom, you want to say hello? No, my hair's not done. <laughs> you know what's funny is that's how long your mom's been around what? you being in entertainment. Y'all not going to be calling me Candace Owens. <laughs> She's talking about y'all ain't going to be calling me Candace Owens. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I see why your mom's your best friend, bro. She is hilarious. Bro, she's so funny, man. She's yeah, so that, funny. That's fun. It's super, it's super funny how, how savvy she is to you being in the internet space or like online or in entertainment. Cause she was like, no, no, no. I know what's going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> that means that means she's in tune with the social media just in general. Like she, mm -hmm. she's like, no, y'all be they be out here killing people like that. Nah, I ain't about to be dragged. Mm -hmm. nah. Nah, ain't about to she, mean no, me she, out no, here. I, she told me earlier, I know these fools you're doing this show with tomorrow. I'm not I'm, <laughs> <laughs> That's how older people talk. Nah, nah, I don't play with them. I don't play with other no, people. Yeah, no, I don't so. play with these these jokes out here. They, these jokes be doing too much. You can't, you can't bring that boy over there. He eat too much. Now I can't be feeding it. Now I ain't gonna be able to do yeah, it. Yeah. He ain't like he ain't got no home train. His parents don't feed him at home. No home train. That's what you hear a lot. Hey, you know, oh, he ain't got yeah. no home. Train. Keith ain't got no home train. Don't oh, be blind him over here. Oh man, we gonna go ahead and get started. I know Tony's gonna be late because he was on set. With me and Kev's gonna be a little late because he was on set to me. He got to drive an hour to get home. And Tony went, did his OTF right out there at the, at the castle. So they're gonna be a little late, but we still got OTF. He got an OnlyFans? Oh. Tony got an OnlyFans? No, nope, not even that. Um, Only Tony fans. Only Tony fans. That's what I heard. <laughs> nah, so they're gonna be they're gonna be pulling up in a minute, man. We got we got a couple more people pulling up. It's gonna be a good show though. Hold on. Actually, murder. He getting scolded. Who getting scolded? Oh, y'all, y'all watching the debate? Now nah, I don't have it. I don't have it on. I watched the first one was amazing. It was a great. It was a great. Uh, was great. I'm sure. I'm sure it's hilarious again right now. I watch my debates through a filter. <laughs> I'm gonna watch through a filter through a, uh, a, a, a. I'm gonna go watch what Trevor Noah said. We we'll go watch what Jimmy Fallon said. It's like if I feel like something was interesting, I'd go back and watch the whole thing. But I don't. Okay. I don't, I the funny, the funniest sound about you on there. I made it. Ooh. Come up, on, but oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh. She all right? Done froze up already. We ma made uh -oh. it. We made it and lost it. Oh, we lost oh, tone too. My shit. Oh yeah, tone froze up too. I can hear some of your tone background though. BT stupid. I see you blinking. Am I pausing? <laughs> yeah. It's it's kind of choppy right now. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Tone is completely froze up though. I'm sure they'll be back in a minute though. Uh, tone, uh... okay. okay, you look better now. Oh well, she did. Is it better now? Yeah. yeah okay. It's <laughs> like what the fuck is going on around? Oh, did you start? Yeah, it's good though. You cuz Oh, Kevin's not here, so I can cut. I'll be shaking my teeth faster. Like, ah, oh, sorry, Mr. Kevs. I won't use that language and throw these titties around here. Look that way around Kev. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get it started, man. Welcome to another episode. Of you guys know this is like my date night. Like, I feel like I'm on a date with all of you guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's like this baby. I'm so happy. <laughs> This is the Keep Your Distance comedy show takeover, man. Uh, everybody gonna see on tonight's show will be on tomorrow's show. So if you want to see them live or uh, somewhat live, virtually live, doing their thing, you need to go ahead and copy your ticket right now. You can copy your ticket. Yeah. Uh, dot com, and you got a number of, of, of promos to use from. Everybody got their own promo. Or y'all can use mobsters. That's my promo. I ain't never on the show, but I always got a promo for y'all. Y'all know me. I hook it up. Uh, Kanisha froze up again, but we're going to get her back as soon as she's ready. But we're going to go ahead and jump <laughs> right into these young intros. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, first and foremost, man, we're going to get it cracking with my homeboy, man. He's the uh, bald head phenom. The beard is flourishing over there. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, has a, You're welcome. Podcast. You're welcome, Keenan. You're welcome. <laughs> Amazing podcast called Animation. Um, very funny comedian. Uh, you can check him out on uh, Tony Baker and Friends. Uh, the, the special is out right now. You can check that out on Amazon Prime and uh, a couple other. You guys on Peacock too? Uh, I don't know if it's on Peacock. I know it's just on a Gumroad and uh, Amazon Prime. Okay, okay. Uh, so you can check that out. You can rent it or purchase it. I think the purchase is like five or two dollars. So you might as well hold on to it. That's what I did. Ladies and gentlemen, amazing comedian, writer, producer, podcast host. Make sure you know it's my homeboy, Keenan Baker. Yo, what up, man? A- AKA Black Planet Hazel Eye Jigger, AKA Scorpio for Life G on Black Planet. <laughs> And Tone Bell, man, he always, every time you see me, you see me with the beard now, he'd be like, you're welcome. Because I used to go to Tone, man, I'm like, how do I do it, dog? How do I get the beard? What do you, what do you put in there? You know what? I appreciate that because, because, because you didn't get out here with a beard to act like you didn't have some influence. So I do, I, <laughs> I do appreciate that. Keena would ask, Keena would ask, and you, I give him some tips. And then look, look at your face. Look at your face. Tone, look at your face. Look, yeah, look, 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 look at yourself below the nose down now. You different. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna text you later, Tom, for those tips because mine's a flourish, but it won't get full like Keenan's. Like I need that full beard, bro. Hey man, you know we got to. It's got to be a conversation. We got to talk texture. We got to talk about care. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I bring a bottle of whiskey. And we'll get it going. We we'll get it. Going. You know what's I'm funny uh, to hear is I hit him up and he ain't have no dark skin beard tips. He was like, "Nah, y'all good." <laughs> It's like, I ain't got nothing for them dark beers, bro. You good. Y'all, man. y'all winning already, man. We need help. You good, bro. <laughs> so you've been bearded out y'all? for a minute. Man, I only, I only been bald face make, like once, one year in the last 10. So, hey, man, you know, I got, you know, I just trimmed it the other day. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm letting it, I'm letting it, uh, it's, I yeah. just got in the shower. So, you know, it shrivels up when you get in the shower. I got to let it, let it dry out. So That's when I heard. So I get, so I shrink. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, introduce. Uh, <laughs> who uh, who got their TV on? Can somebody turn their TV down just a little bit? That's my, that's my, that's my mom watching the debate. That's, I'm trying oh, to get okay. her to do it. I've been trying to tell her, but you know she don't, she don't hear well either, either, so I'm trying. Ain't nothing you can do. Hey, Val. I'm just going to have to deal with that. Val. Val. <laughs> she call me Kanisha. I'm going to knock her head off her body. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> Thank you. Ma. She'll respect for the mothers in here. <laughs> he turned into Stewie. He can't. Stewie Griffin. Mama. I get it. Mama. It's all good. We'll, we'll figure it out. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, no stranger to the show, man. Uh, when I first started, he's one of the people that came on every week and uh, kicked it with me, man. Uh, also goes by many names. One of them is Vincent Dracula Jones. Uh, uh, got the Tuskegee Project out right now. Uh, the Do-Rag Phenom as well. Um, <laughs> from 16 different places. I don't know which one is first. But ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for content creator, writer, producer, director, comedian, and actor, Mr. B. T. Kingsley. Hey, what up, dude? What up, dude, man? Hey, man, first of all, man, uh, I love you, brothers. Uh, And Bush, you know, I love you. I miss y'all. I am very excited about tomorrow. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a this has been a, a active week. We get zooming with the homies and keep your distance. I am a happy, happy person. Me too. Happy, happy person. Uh, yes. For those of you in the chat that have not seen me do stand up tomorrow, uh, you got y'all got a hell of a show lined up for y'all. Ooh. Yeesh. Yeesh. Man, let me tell you. Let me tell you, it's gonna be a hell of a show. Uh, next up, ladies and gentlemen, um, she needs no introduction. She's funny as hell. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen her on a lot of ADD con- content. Uh, seen her on Squadcast. You've seen her here on Zoom with the homies. Uh, you may have seen her breasts on their own uh, OnlyFans page because uh, they have something completely separate from what she got going on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I want y'all to make some noise for the mother, comedian, actor, writer, producer, Miss Kanisha, bus in the building. Bus there, bus. What up, uh-huh. bus? What up, bus? Yeah. You know, I this is my date night. I don't get to go out. He took the baby. I don't want to see him or the baby. You know, right now I'm single until they get back. As I'm living. <laughs> hey, I'm having a great time. Single. Yeah, look at Jay. Jay zoomed Fuck in. Fuck the baby. Yeah. Fuck the Jay. man. That's right. <laughs> Damn right. I zoomed in. I Jay was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Not this top too, but it's nowhere to wear it. I'm like, I'm wearing this shit for zooming with the homies. I went and got a top just for you. You know, I don't have no bottoms on, but my tops is just for y'all. It is. You like, we appreciate you like a hood geisha right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're super, super excited to have you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, moving on. Um, somebody else that needs no uh, introduction. Since the sister's first time coming on, he's been a crowd favorite, especially with the ladies. They always ask, hey, when's Tom Bell coming back? When's oh. Tom Bell oh, coming me? back? I was like. <laughs> I, I thought you was talking about me. My bad, Tom. I was waiting for Jay to get, get get the intro too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me, let me be humble for a second. Go um, ahead, Jay. You let can see him humble. on 47 different projects that have all come out within the last two years. Um, you know, movies, shows, uh, Netflix shows. He, he's done it all. They've all ended, but he got the check, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he also has the credits and the sack. Uh, <laughs> to Many to series. So here, we've been over this. Many series. Hey, many series, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has more lifetime mini series than this brother right here, and he's an amazing comedian. Ah. Fantastic actor, writer, producer, all of that, ladies and gentlemen, one of the coolest people I've ever heard or met in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise, Mr. Tom Bell in the building. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be with my friends right now. I love everybody on here. And uh, Jay, is amazing to see you, brother. So like, uh, go ahead and introduce Jay. I don't need no more to hear. I, I'm wait, wait, Tom, did you say miniseries? Yeah, yeah, I thought I told, I thought I'd see many series myself. That was Damn, that was a job like you know, shoulder pop. That was a little pop right there. Right, they, Niggas they gonna be booking mini series. They, 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 they book a show or something, but a series. <laughs> people, people be like, y'all didn't do more than ten. I'd be like, we was only supposed to do ten. You get your facts wrong. <laughs> Fake news. Fake news out here. We, we stopped on in the middle of season two on purpose. That's how it was supposed to go. That's how I go. Our me, me, wrote seventeen that episodes. Like, Everybody knows want that. Want you to complete a hit cliffhanger. We just we just leave you forever. Creative oh. integrity. I appreciate it. Yeah. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> a very funny comedian, uh, like a big brother to a lot of us out here, man. He's yeah. always so love, always embracing new current uh, trends, and 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 always like adjusted beautifully um he has a couple podcasts out but one of his shows is what you think it's a live stream show you can catch that on his youtube channel uh but above all a fantastic and amazing comedian uh storyteller and storyteller story oh man amazing. don't don't even get me started on the storytelling Ooh, yes. um you can catch him on Ooh. dl hughley's show as well ladies and gentlemen uh he really needs no, no more of an introduction um amazing comedian writer father husband producer uh, director, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jay Phillips in the building. What's going I forgot on? Sir? All that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I got my own horns, nigga. <laughs> 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 hey, Jay got that nice crib, bro. I went out to Jay's crib. I, he out, he had to put me to the side. Like, hey, man, you been there for a couple hours. You ready to? Uh, ready to <laughs> I, had, I had to walk him by his elbow towards the front for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, hey, I ain't get to swim yet, man. He's like, brother, you came over here to write. I was like, yeah, you right, you right, but the pool, though, the pool. Uh, I, I know where Jay lived, but I ain't never got invited. Oh, man. What? I ain't got invited. Be quiet on that. Be quiet on that. I ain't got nothing to do with that. that I, never been invited. I, I, know, I know the area, that. but I don't know the address. <laughs> well, we'll fix that. My birthday this weekend, uh, well, my birthday next week, I'm gonna have a, a a very minute small gathering at the house. I love minute. Shit, I'm there. <laughs> Good. Well, then all y'all coming in if y'all want to. It is. Oh, ain't nothing about. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just. I mean, I'm not even. I know. Even, I know what you're gonna say, and I'm, I'm with dead. you. I believe in it. I'm not. It. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Go yeah. Say it then. Shit. No, 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 Jay. You know we 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 ain't got we 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 all on the same page. I know we on the same page, but somebody got to read the words. Ain't nothing my new about them titties. <laughs> Ain't you, B.T. Kingsley? Golly. I ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> that shit went over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing to lose, baby. I ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> I, got, I got a pilot coming up in December. I can't say things like that right now. <laughs> can't well, risk listen, it, ladies and gentlemen, um, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Zoom with the homies, man. I want to thank all my homies for pulling up tonight. We're going to have a fantastic show because we still got two more people that's going to pull up, two or three more people that's going to pull up tonight. Um, 
I want to uh, thank my guests for pulling up. And uh, if you guys want to bless them with a little something for taking time out of their evening, uh, to bless us with the company and the jokes and entertainment, you guys can go ahead and bless them on the Cash App. And at this time, I'm going to ask all my guests to change their name to the Cash App right now. Kanisha already has hers, Kena and BT. Uh, Jay and Tony, if you guys want to uh, change yours, you can go ahead and change it. Or you all can right. change it to your, um, your promo for uh, tickets to uh, Keep Your Distance. Uh, tomorrow, whatever your promo is, whatever you want to do, it's up to you, man. We just want to thank you for pulling up on us tonight. Um, we've been having a great time, man. BT, yes, talk sir. to me, baby. What's new with you, man? Man, it's funny, man. We were talking about the the busyness, man. It's been it's been active and aggressive as of late. I am super juiced about tomorrow because we ain't got to stand up, man, in front of people. Man, bro, bro. Stand up in front of people. It was in May, wasn't it? That last show was uh for me and Bus was on together was the uh the show in at Nate's Club is super funny, and everything before there had to be the comedy union before that. It's like, (laughs) bro, it's been a in front of people. I'm I'm super dumb dumb excited. Um, and we were talking about a little bit I think before we went live, man, just about like. How busy it's been! Like auditions are, are back cracking. I got yeah, picking up. Yeah, it's it's about that time. I'm like, okay, we out here, and that's you know, uh, Terry, we've been having to make adjustments because you didn't adjust it to quarantine life. Then we out here creating our own avenues. Everybody, it's like, yo, it's a, it's a lot, man. I yeah, it's a lot right now, fam. It's ain't, a it lot. Dope, dope, ain't it dope watching everybody be like, oh, c- catch their lanes and everything, and yeah. just like, and it still work together. That shit. Fucking fire, bro. It's like, man, like I looked at the calendar and I was like, all right, I ain't did Vincent Dracula Jones in a minute. So like I gotta, I'm gonna do a, a Halloween party for visit because it makes sense. It's like vampire DJ, what we talking about? <laughs> it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, it's like, yeah, man, it's just like finding finding your lane and and progress. I'm I keep looking at my vision board. I'm like, not exactly, but kind of, it's like it's morphed, but it's kind of getting to where I was. What I was looking for, what I was trying to get to. So I'm, I'm, I'm great, man. It's a, oddly yeah, enough, it's a, it's a dope. weird, great time. All right, I'm doubling. We um, Pat and I are actually doing a karaoke um next Friday. Yes. Uh, and we I got, agree. Uh, we got we got Keisha E, we got Tony Baker, we have Precious, and we have CP. They're all performing. It's gonna be three rounds. We're gonna do '80s. Pop and rock. We're gonna do '90s R&B, and then we're gonna do hip hop. And uh, it's, 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 90s we're gonna R&B. scream it. We're gonna have a good time doing it, man. It's gonna be like it's 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 crazy that we found the space, like you said, and just really just use it to the best of our abilities. But it's so dope to, like Tone said, see everybody find that groove, find their lane. Jay got a new show out. You know what I'm saying? I love it. What I love think? it. Everybody's like everybody's finding their thing. Tone got a um, in crowd. If you haven't been to in crowd as a comic, man. You got to see this facility, man. It's really next to a live show. I, I, I can't, I can't wait thing. to have everybody. To here's done, and I can't wait to have everybody else on. Like, I mean, you know, we in a good spot right now. We're gonna be doing more shows. So, like, man, I can't, I cannot wait. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. In crowd comedy uh, on Instagram, just at in crowd comedy, man. It's dope. Jay got to have you over. Keeney got to have you over. KB got to have you over. Uh, 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 nigga, let's, everybody, come on, man. BT, let's go, man. Everybody got to come through, man. Because once you do it, you. Like you, you fall back and love. You want to go back? It, I, I, I'm looking forward to going back because it's, it's a lot of fun, man. And it's, it's, it's not like the other virtual shows that I've done. Neither is Kev. That's one thing about Kev's Kev show. Yeah. You got a small audience. Tone, you've been there a couple of times. You've seen it, Kenny. You've seen it. Yeah. BT, I don't think you've been there yet. Oh no, um, I've been there. I just I could, followed okay. you here. I couldn't take it no yeah. more. I, I looked at the flyer and like, uh, it, you know what it was? It was Wednesday night. It was your Wednesday night at the. I'm looking at the flyer. Uh, what did you? It's five niggas on the show I love. I'm going. Bruh. I, BT, BT, I'm going to put on a mask. They're going to have to kick me out. BT, <laughs> I'm I'm so glad you said that because, I, you know, and I love Kev. I love, we all love Kev. All of us love Kev. But as many times I've seen that flyer, I was like, I mean. Oh, I had to run about Kev for sure. <laughs> I was like. I don't need to be on the show like that. Town. I'm coming to kick it, bro. Me, you're from the town, nigga. Where is the hometown? I was like, yeah, that show was hella popping. He was like, oh, where, let me get you a date 20 years from now. I'm like, yeah, write me in. When Kev, when Kev, when Kev texted me, it felt like he, he hit me with a you up. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, but like, I've been watching these motherfuckers for months, and now you're going, you up? Uh, Man, well, first of all, yeah. I'd love to get up, but like, you know. <laughs> 
I did wouldn't you, even. Did you have man, to I uncross be... your legs and fix your lapels <laughs> before you spoke. Like I, I'm not sure. I'm if I'm ready. Let me let me reattain my masculinity to have this conversation because I was feeling like. A... <laughs> Listen. You know, but it, it wasn't just, it wasn't like, yes, I, w- I want to get up. I'm excited about doing the show tomorrow. But it was just being, dog, not only can we not do comedy, we ain't around it. Yeah. Like, 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 so when, so we do the show in May, right? So every, at, remember, now Buzz will tell you, Thursday, we super safe. We do the show Thursday, pack crowd. We come downstairs out of the green room, do the show. We go right back up to the green room. Don't touch me, niggas. I don't want that COVID, right? Yeah, they know, but keep going. Stay, two, two shakes. Stay, first stand to know in the club. Third, uh, Friday, we do it again. When we do the show, we do the set, and then we just run back up. Let me tell you something. By that late show Friday, I was like, I miss the people. I nigga, <laughs> I'm just going to have to catch up, fam. Because the interaction and like us losing the social interaction, it's a lot, fam. It's a, it's a lot Yo, to take but, on. But I mean, like, it, it don't, like, people really don't know how good it feels. Like, because I mean, no matter what you're doing, if you're doing a hot 7, 10, 25 45 an hour if you if you any kind of time when that set go how you want it to go and then you want that pat on the back bro like you got like you gotta you my rule's always been i need three people to be like yo man love like, yo you was fired tonight you was killing mm. like, and mm-hmm. you get that little moment you you lock eyes with somebody it's like yo man we, i really had appreciated me and my girl loved it you know whatever you need that shit. it feels yeah. amazing yeah man you know you, you know your job was done at that point yeah yeah. It is. COVID comedy is like sex with a condom, yo. Like, I was just putting my mask on and running back upstairs. I want to feel y'all. I want it some hugs and I want some bad, and some stuff. <laughs> hey, I, wanna, I've been, I, I guess I've been lucky, man. I've been able to get back out. Um, <clears throat> last couple of weeks, I've been able to get out. Not <laughs> shit. Jay, Jay, let me tell you something. You can't say you got back out and, and start you're coughing. coughing. <laughs> right at the end. He's smoking a blunt right now. He's smoking a blunt. Oh, he's smoking. He's smoking. He's smoking a blunt. Yeah. Touche. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Covid, Covid, kill coughing. You can't just cough in the room. I'm reason. good, bro. Uh, <laughs> I got CBD and everything in this. Yeah, yeah, okay. Super okay, safe. I forgot you was rolled up. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. I've been back out lately, man. Um. So it's 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 still weird. But the the messed up part about it is I'm I'm not going out like like headlining like I used to go like I go out and rock with on DL show which mm. is still dope because I'm a junkie I feel like I still got to go and yeah. doing six shows in the weekend is still doing six shows in the weekend Absolutely. Um, they just don't I mean every everybody that's used to doing theaters is coming back and snatching up those nine or ten little spots that's doing yeah. all of the the weekend dates so it's like. I'm squeezed out until the beginning of the year. I'm getting, I'm starting to get them trickled through here and there. But yeah. other than that, it's like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm fainting. So I, I, I'm just roll with DL. I'll go be a special guest host for a little while. Let's do that shit. Right. Right. Like that's, that's like, that's what, that's, I've been entertaining that too, bro. Cause like, I mean, I've, I've done, I've done one full weekend and I got out the same way. It's like, man, at this point, somebody like, hey, Tony, you want to come do 30? I'd be like, bro, I'm out. Hell yeah. I'll break, let me break even. Mm-hmm. Basically. Nigga, I'm out here selling merch. <laughs> Word. <laughs> what you sell? Hand sanitizer? Uh, that's next week. Okay. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm selling masks, though. I am Duh. selling masks. I just Why ordered some like masks. I just ordered some like masks to come in. Tony's always disappointed. This is I, I've, I've been with him on set for the past two days, and he's just a, he's just an angry ass old man. Uh, Anytime I see Tony get on here, like I've been on this, I've been on here with Tony maybe three times at this point. When Tony get on, I if it looked like he got three screens up, because <laughs> Tony started like this, and he'll look over here, and then he'll look. At, I'm like this motherfucker that, guy has an Intel that's setup. The cat, the cats be doing stuff all on the sides, and Tony be like, he just he give them a look like a parent, like hey hey, fuck that. Yeah. That, Tony that watching the debate and the football game. That's what that is. If you look to the side, though, if Tony ever panned the camera, you'll see that's over there like this. <laughs> Tony be enjoying that group chat a lot more. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. He be going in on the group chat. I'm I'm looking because I feel like I'm in the time machine because Tony looked totally different because he cut back. He went back to, what's this? It's 2016 Tone face? And he shaved, he face. shaved out his underground beard. Yeah, man. <laughs> He don't want to put the work in, man. I keep having a discussion. I'm like, yo, Tone, just let it go. This, it's the, you're going to have to go through the ugly stage. I couldn't I mean, do it. Dog. Ugh. 
I couldn't do it. I keep, I got about to where you were and I couldn't take it. I had a, I had a, I had a goddamn uh, photo shoot or something to go through and I couldn't get it together. I was like, you know what? Chop it, nigga. Let's <laughs> take go. it off. <laughs> Let's get it down to manageable. Let's do that. And then we'll try that shit again when I ain't got nothing else to do. Nigga, my Bruh, COVID beard was nice for a minute, but it just looked <laughs> scrappy as fuck. People don't know my whole right side of comb over. That's a little known secret. That's coming out on Zoom with the homies right now. I never before said it. Never before said it. Left side, left side be amazing. This right side, this whole little side, that's a, that's a comb over right there. I got to that's, that's coming from the sideburn down. <laughs> like, yeah. I let this get, and then this get, and I just, I just like twist it up and then just pat it in. Oh, that, yeah, that, ain't, that, ain't, that, that, that was that actually one of the, the topics ain't gonna fix. The, the swoop swoop. <laughs> that's one of the, that was actually one of the beer tips that Tone gave me. He said, man, you gotta keep brushing. And I have I have mutton chops for like six months, just mutton chops, looking like an idiot out here. Then you I said we gotta keep through. brushing. But we let you do it. We let you do it because we knew you. We knew what your goal was. Oh, <laughs> uh, we we get to talking beards. He pull up. He pull up luscious paws. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, Kevin straightened his. Kevin hot combed his beard. <laughs> nah, he got. Oh, how he got you me on here? Product. That's the products. Come on, man. Tom been on here, but he ain't said one word. Tom been on here five minutes, ain't said one word. He all been talking. Everybody been talking. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I've been in the comment section though. I said it, that. That's what I ain't been. I, I ain't seen them typing though. How you been in the comments? I ain't seen them typing. You got you got sneaky wrists. <laughs> <laughs> Tom want me out here like this. I want you. What you <laughs> here go, here go, here go, here go, Tony typing. <laughs> no, I'm here, guys. <laughs> you don't see no movement of the shoulders or nothing. I, I don't have to look at the keyboard, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't I hear a stenographer. <laughs> <laughs> look at Sabrina talking about she need to hear Kev and Tony to rest. First of all, Tony don't be resting ever. Tony always on his phone, and he never rests. Bro, what? Tony don't ever rest. Tony, Tony will sit there. He'll drive in a car. No one needs sleep. I'll be like, yo, Tony, I'll take over. No, nah, I'm good. Uh, and he'll just fall asleep at the wheel. He don't give a shit. He'll <laughs> put your life at risk and not care. He'll be like, nah, it's my car. I'm driving. That's old news, Keenan. I'm over. Oh, I ran it? off that. Mm. You always bringing up the time I almost killed you. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always bring, always, always <laughs> talk about your homicide. Man, they, he always they talking make about murder it, movies we, about we, that we all the time. Out. About the time somebody almost killed me. Yeah, man. How many times we gonna come back to this, man? That was years ago. It was. You so I'm like you alive, ain't you? Yeah, you said. <laughs> did you die? But did right. you die? I did. Like, did you, know, you get? Yeah. But did you die? What is that? Oh, uh, Chappelle, the Chappelle show when he has, uh, when he's Rick J. That was years ago, motherfucker. Yeah, that was weeks ago, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm partying. That was tonight. No, oh, I almost oh, killed tonight? you tonight. <laughs> Chaz, the one I almost killed you, Kenny. You need to focus on that. Yeah, he did almost kill me. Yeah, that was a real accident. And then he, and then he laughed when he almost killed me. Yeah, man. I, I would never laugh at almost killing you, man. <laughs> you know who can't drive though? You know who can't drive? We used to be on tour and we were like, no, 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 no. We'll we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Kevin Fredericks cannot drive to save it. And he got the nerve to go out and get a Maserati. You know I was about to say, I feel like his insurance drive. note just went up quite a bit. Kevin oh, drive yeah. like rigs from Lethal Weapon for no reason. <laughs> like, why are you driving like Mel Gibson and Lethal Weapon 3? Ain't nobody chasing us. Listen, Kel drive like he always just dropped the blunt on the floor. <laughs> Man. <laughs> like it was in his lap. Just like, oh, it's in my lap. You, crazy, drive, you drive fast or you drive slow? And I do everything wrong. Fast, out of the lanes. Uh, the Maserati, I didn't know this. If you drift in up to another lane, it'll correct itself and put you back in the middle. It better do that for all that money. It better correct itself. It better do my taxes. It better walk the dog. It better call all my exes and be like, don't call here no more. Tony's driving a 2003 Lancer that every time he turns it on, it got to put a new port out. He's like, oh, we, go, we going somewhere today. I'm glad. All right, let, me just, let me just get out the way. <laughs> No, <laughs> new car, Tony. You deserve Kev, it, man. Yeah, if he'll be he the bigger though, he be doing. He'll do like a major show. He and take the, take it on the road. He be having to put these heavy ass bags of money in the back of his truck. Like, oh man, I got to drive this. Car has a felony on his record. 
Not Tony, just the car. The car can't vote, it can't own the gun or nothing. He still won't get rid of him. I'm like, let what, it go. What is, two a, what, is a, uh, what is a what is a Lancer? You ever seen Fast and the Furious? I have. It ain't on there. You ever played Gran Turismo? Gran Turismo, the Lancers was cracking, man. But what is it? It's a car. It's a it's Mitsubishi car, car tone. Oh, it's a Mitsubishi. Okay, I was asking for the. I was asking for the, the make. It used to oh, you guys put the make of it. The the make. Yeah, I was just trying to figure who made it. Yeah. I know I've seen it. I just didn't know nobody who made it. makes it anymore. Tone Mitsubishi, like, bro, why do you still have this? We got you know what? other new cars. <laughs> you know what, Kev? You know what, Kev? When I when I when I saw you get demise right, I was very one. I was proud. I was like, yes, yeah, some, like somebody I, somebody I know know. I got their number. Got one right. That was very dope. proud. But also at the same time. Like three years ago, I didn't know I didn't know about a Maserati SUV. So I looked it up. I, I saw one next to me on the 405. I Googled it. Do you know the the uh, the, the the slogan for Maserati SUV? Mm. The Maserati SUV is the Maserati of SUVs. They use their own name <laughs> in the title to promote themselves. And I'm bullshit you die. Google it right now. If you if you listen, you Maserati Google it right SUV. now. <laughs> The That's hilarious. Is the Maserati SUV? Very. I think Maserati would use itself in third person. Oh, love it! I love it. <laughs> I have yeah. to freaking come. I've been holding off on a car forever. I don't know how to use this. Hmm. Say what? Nisha is so non-tech savvy, man. Hey, my computer! All of a sudden, I think the baby was pressing buttons, and now it just keeps saying preparing windows because I turned it off. So I'm trying to speak on my freaking phone. And you, I hate you gotta, you gotta have an Android computer. A, computer, a breast keep hitting the space bar and turning the goddamn <laughs> video off. <laughs> a titty keep hitting escape. <laughs> yeah. Yo, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. Kanisha so came in here dressed like T-Hawk from Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that is hilarious, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. It really says the Maserati of SUV. I told you that was not bullshit. <laughs> the arrogance. Yeah. That the is. Arrogance. How clean Pompous. it is, though, to hear. Oh, it's a nice, it's a very nice video. Kev, it's a 2020? 2020, baby. We see Woo! it clear. We oh. see it clear. Wow. <laughs> Kev, did you consider the uh the Tesla? And I did, but I didn't want to um, uh, be like plugging my car in and stuff. It's like having a phone charger and all that. I don't need that Absolutely. much. Absolutely, I don't want to. Yeah, my phone is never charged. It'll be an emergency. I'd be like, "We dead. Well, I can't even get us out of here." <laughs> yeah, I just. And then I had heard uh, this dude had a Tesla, and um, it has one feature where if something happens, it'll lock the doors, and you can't get out. And his son had asthma, and he was stuck inside there. And I was like, "I don't really need that." Oh hell, wow. Wow, yeah, I didn't I, hear that. There ain't no doorknobs on it either. The dealership. <laughs> 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 oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, they, I know they uh, like if you take a road trip in a Tesla, the amount of times you got to plug up is like, oh, well, it depends on how far you go. Though. If, if I'm driving to the bay, which is five yeah. and a half hours, 300 miles, you got to stop twice. Yeah, you well, oh, you, you, know, you got to stop one time. It's got a 250, they got a 250 mile Tesla. So you only got to stop yeah. once. Math is terrible. <laughs> I don't like stopping. Anisha, are you yeah, dipping a popsicle in alcohol? You never had a liquor pop? What the hell? It's hot. You guys never did I, a liquor pop? I don't know, but your uh, OnlyFans page is about to get popping. You eat that whole goddamn. Uh, <laughs> And that's why I'm not doing it like that. I'm you can take a seven of us over here. Alcohol and dripping that bitch. That, come on, baby. You, <laughs> ain't nobody going to listen to nothing right. nobody else saying. See? Anisha, you got to stop putting alcohol in the baby's spaghetti old bowl. That baby no, when, we, that. when I had the baby, I packed up my bar and the shot glasses went. So this is all I have when I drink are baby bowls. But first you didn't have time first to buy all, more cups. First of all, these titties in this popsicle made us forget about these technical difficulties completely. <laughs> no. First of all, I'm being respectful and hiding eating the pop because Rev Kev is on, so making sure I'm crazy. Kev? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm being respectful, and but I really wanted a liquor pop, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Rev Kev is on. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with admiring the Lord's work. 
<laughs> so listen, her, the hair looked like GI Sloppy Joe. <laughs> hey, y'all remember when GI Joe used to throw the uh, knowing it's half the battle in on the episodes where it didn't make no sense? You're like, all right, guys, y'all didn't really teach us nothing today, man. Don't throw it in. <laughs> uh, ain't nothing happened but Snake Eyes had a fight annoying as half the battle <laughs> y'all start forcing it on season 3 it ain't nothing really happened with the moral wasn't no, really no more of a story oh snap man hey Kev is one of the coolest dudes but everybody still look at him like like the big brother that you can't do nothing in front of Kev I don't <laughs> I just met Kev. I'm still, I'm still me in front of Kev. I don't give a fuck what I say to Kev. I love Kev. <laughs> I came in as a fan. I, 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 he going to have to change me in two years, but we good for right now. <laughs> I came. Hey, the more we get to know each other, the better I might get. But for now, I'm still gonna be reckless as me. He's my Alicia for like 15 years. She ain't, she ain't changed. <laughs> He's a little brother. Listen, Kanisha said, you see, she said she being respectful how she eating the popsicle because Rev Kev on here. Yeah, but, but it's still a little brother though, you know. To hear, yeah. you know what's funny? She's eating the popsicle respectful, but we can still hear the slurping. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, eat the popsicle. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, get some more. Not to make no noises. That's I, your I still see your head moving. I know you hiding your face, but all I'm doing is <laughs> <laughs> I'm being respectful. Nobody eats a popsicle like that. <laughs> it, but do you do a liquor pop? Because you got to smoke it in the liquor and uh, get the liquor off. And it's okay. cold. If I'm being honest, though, and if I'm being honest, I definitely want a popsicle now. Like, just because because that the red, white, and blue, those used to be the, the best flavor off, off the truck. That bump pop? That bump pop? Yeah, hey, man. That red, white, the and blue. I don't know what color the white was, but what flavor? That was the, that was the white cherry. Like, uh, remember the white mystery Laffy Taffies and Airheads? That's exactly what the mm -hmm. white thing was. I don't know if I've had a, 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 a popsicle as a grown man. Really? <laughs> really? I don't think so. Just bite it. Ah, oh, Kanisha, I can't bite it. It's it's my tea. I only I only bite popsicle. I don't. I only bite popsicle too. And only yeah. from the side. From the side. That's well, called toxic masculinity, like guys. A, like, a, like a Chico stick. Oh, they. <laughs> What's the kind in the, uh, the square, square ones? Chico square? stick? No, the square, uh, the icy's, icy ones. Astro pop? I got nothing. Y'all niggas know all the freeze the pop? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like a freeze pop. The regular ass freeze pop? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the plastic and a little oh, plastic the bag. Pop. The shit the yeah, I don't pop. never, I don't never do raw popsicle. I, it got to be in like the little, in a little satchel. No, I don't do BT, no BT take the popsicle, pour a little bit in his hand, and shake it around like sunflower seeds, and then throw it in. You're going to inch or two. Ah, that's how I eat his popsicle. I lay mine down on a tray and eat it with a spoon. That's what you're supposed to do. I eat it with a spoon. BT, heat his popsicles up, pour it in the glass, and drink it like Kool-Aid. Uh, I tried to I tried to rotate the conversation into into positive happy stuff. We got right back to the nonsense. I was like, oh come on, y'all. Ice cream truck. <laughs> How did you try to rotate it back? What part did I miss? I didn't rotate it back, it just got back there. Okay. That's funny. Did y'all see the video uh old boy? How, he's like, how you eat a uh, a banana in public when ladies are around? He was looking around. Make sure no ladies around. He peeled the banana. He took a piece off and he did it like this. Before. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I think he broke the banana off and shook it like sunflowers. <laughs> like, like, like he about to roll some dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you doing? You about to <laughs> the proper way to eat a banana as a grown man is to just tear off as much as you can bite off. You tear that bitch off and you eat and you, and you chew it up. You don't just- That's my motto you gotta, too, Jay. You gotta insert the banana. You gotta, you can take, you just can't break the motherfucker off and drop it in your mouth. No, what you do is you grab the whole thing and you just mash it and then stuff it in your face. I'm talking the real way. Now you ain't gonna do that at the liquor store. You ain't, gonna, you ain't gonna do no goofy shit like that. You at somebody's house. Somebody off you talking about eating, yeah, eating, yeah, eating bananas you. like harambe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bananas and frosted flakes, though? They're incredible. 
Frosted Flakes. I eat cereal too slow to eat Frosted Flakes. I can't do Frosted Flakes. I eat cereal too slow. My cereal game is my my cereal. I eat. I, I don't know. I eat too slow. Yeah, I eat too slow. Yeah, 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 too slow. No, we just lost Tony Baker. You can't disrespect Sierra. He'll leave, bro. I'm not saying it's not delicious, but but Frosted Flakes gets got too quick for me. Eat, not eating cereal. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think the cereal's gonna last a little longer. Say they, you know, stay a little more crisp. I mean, you gotta, eat, you gotta eat that. You gotta eat that good shit. Then like them grain and oats. Ugh, them clusters. Uh, yeah. I I disagree. Bananas are the worst fruit ever. <laughs> Invented. They are not. Oh, I hate bananas. Plantains are lit, and banana bread is lit. Banana what? pudding is trash. Well, they make banana bread with banana the banana. The best thing I know, but you don't really taste bananas in banana bread. So you are you, Kevin? You one of the people that don't like onions, but like onion rings, like me. I don't like. Yep, I like sautéed onions. I like pickled onions. Uh, but like raw onions, nah. the, raw they got too much. The, the flavor too strong. Yeah. You like onion rings, like you'll order them. Like I'll never order onion rings. I have them. If you yeah. order them, I'll have some. But I'll I'm never, never ordering. Order. But if you have yeah, one, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll take an onion ring. But I won't. I'm never not an onion food. ring. I'm not an onion ring uh, novelist. I don't. I don't go out here and be like, yeah. let me try your onion rings. Right. I try your fries. I try your fries. I'm not trying your onion ring. But most Two onion rings bad. max is all you really need. You don't need eight onion rings. That's very true. Kev, we're on the same page. You don't want a, the awesome blossom? You don't want the awesome blossom? But but see, I'm not paying for that. But if somebody offers it, I will have a couple. The well, awesome blossom comes to the table. Y'all like, take a piece of that awesome blossom. <laughs> What's Brad, awesome blossom? Brad, majority of the time. The blooming, the blooming, the blooming onion. onion. Ooh, I, oh, know. I didn't know it was Out, called an awesome blossom. At, uh, Outback Steakhouse, when they cut it up. <laughs> I, I thought that. it was called a blooming onion. I didn't. I didn't know it's called an awesome blossom. Yeah, but you know what? But you know, but you know what? I don't like steakhouse in a long time. You only do roof Chris. I already know. Here the reason. Here the reason. I don't respect. I don't respect. I mean, for some reason, I respect fries, but I don't respect onion rings like that. I don't respect onion rings, and I don't respect uh, the blooming onion like that because I know how much an onion costs, and I'm not spending twelve dollars mm -hmm. on this thirteen mm -hmm. cent item. Right. But Tone, you know potatoes don't cost that much either. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I just, I just, I, I'm, I just said that before I started. I was trying to preface. Okay, that. okay. But, I, but, I, but I like them better, so it doesn't mean as much to me. Right. Kanisha, Kanisha, <laughs> hold on, Kanisha, 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 you're muted. You're muted, Kanisha. I had to mute and, you because oh, yeah, when's, when's the last time you had? When's the last time you had? Oh, look at Tony Baker being silent eating cereal in front of me. Look, when's the last time? <laughs> when's the last time, Kev? When's the last time you had onion rings with accoutrement on it? Fries can have all kinds of accoutrement, cheese and chili, uh, all this kind of stuff. Onion yeah, rings don't true. never have. Uh, I don't think I've ever had onion rings with anything with, on it. With like accessories. Loaded onion rings. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, real quick, everybody. Mm. Tisha, do you have headphones? Because we're getting mad feedback from your side. Okay, let me get some. All right. That's true. Loaded, loaded onion rings ain't been really a thing like that. Cause don't nah. know. Nah, you got cheese on onion rings though. I've had cheese That'd be on too onions. much. Did you put cheese on onion rings or did it come with on, on cheese on? And white, white castles. You get the cheese on the oh, onion rings. White castle white different. Throw some bacon bits on it. Cause white castle ain't everywhere. White castle fire. White castle ain't everywhere. I'm talking about white castle everywhere. Is trash. Wait, white castle. Oh, hold on. Whoa, hold on, wait a Jay. second, Jay. Hold on, Jay. Hold on. Let's not get disrespectful. Hey, mute Jay. <laughs> Come on, goddammit. Let's go. <laughs> you know, he ain't said nothing in 10 minutes, but that right there, that, that's I, I know. Man, I, that's that's what what I y'all up. Jay, line, Jay stand in your truth, Jay. Hey, I'm, man, I'm, listen I'm to me. Totally I don't know if y'all know what this? I know about White Castle, and that's my story. I got my own personal stories against it. Listen, I, I stopped there at 1 o'clock in the morning on my way home when I was in Brooklyn. And got me a goddamn white castle full of goddamn food, thinking I was gonna be all right. And six hours later, I regretted every goddamn moment of it, not vowed I'd never walk in that establishment again. You don't know what happened to me that day. But <laughs> yeah, we do. They called sliders. I know exactly what happened to you. <laughs> and you went back for more? No, nah, I don't really miss it. See, that's because your stomach yeah, wasn't ready, Jay. Uh, you, uh, how, but how did you feel when you when you threw that bag away? When you finished, when you threw that bag away, you I felt great. I, I knew I fucked up after the third bite. <laughs> I knew I was in trouble. It was a wrap, but I kept going. I bought three of them little sandwiches because I thought I was like, shit, I can eat a couple. I, I smashed these. 
So I'm in the middle of the second one, and I was like, man, that that first one, I don't know. It ain't. It's like a little aftertaste because they got an aftertaste. They and do that have aftertaste. aftertaste. Started getting strong. Jay, it's the bread. That's the only reason people tune in for White Castle. You just like Hawaiian. If bread. you can get past that penny taste, you see what y'all know that aftertaste <laughs> I'm talking about. That's that. It, it tastes like you, you you drink a Shasta. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, 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 it that tastes like, you, you, taste like, like you, just, you put a nine volt battery on your tongue real quick. <laughs> it's like that 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 taste from that cheap ass soda. That that's that's enough White Castle splendor for one night. All right, all right man. That's my it. bad. I love I love though. White Castle though, but I know the consequences. But I do it anyway because I know what I'm getting myself into. You but like will, White Castle over say, crystals? Nah, crystal crystals yeah. better though. Chris is yeah, better. I do. I think it's I'm, I'm from Atlanta. We didn't grow up with White Castle, but my whole family from the Midwest, so like, I, I prefer White Castle more though. Chris is right. what saved me in college, so Chris. I never, I never had Crystals before though. Tony, what kind of cereal is this? It look, it, it, it kind of looks uh, like frosted, it's, it's uh, a bowl of a bowl of uh, corn, white corn cheddar cheeses. <laughs> <A bowl laughs> <of cheese. laughs> I'm eating a uh, Kashi. Oh, I'll see, see, see Tony with a good thing, cereal. Yeah. That is don't it get good? Oh, do you like it? Or are you are you I, training yourself to like I it? I love it. It's the, it's the vanilla one, right? My island vanilla. Yep, best one. Tony has become the king of merchandise. He's eating his new cereal, Skibbity Paps, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's a good idea. Get Joe. you a bowl of Skibbity Paps. Hey, that is not that. That is a good oh, idea. That's a oh, good that's idea. a whole line. You got Skibbity Paps. You got the little cat Paps. on the box. <laughs> no, that's a great idea right there. We gonna little see it tomorrow. Cat. We gonna see it tomorrow. <laughs> you got the little kitty cat on the box. Yep. <laughs> you could use your. You could use midnight to sell the commercials. He could just be laying on the ground all weird, like he be. Uh, uh, he be cocked open every night. Your cat is weird, Tone. That man, he. Your I've cat watches before, anime. Tone. I follow your cat. There's something wrong with that little nigga, man. You know what? <laughs> he be he be laid out like Julius on uh, everybody hates Chris. Somehow he used to just sleep in the bed, fully dressed, cocked open. Your cat get up too slow. Most cats pop up. Your cat get up like an old nigga. Yeah. He'd be like, oh, He's like, hey. He'd be like, mm. what time he get, he get, his cat get up like he got social security already. <laughs> so, the old cat get up like, Ugh. Uh, meow. His knees be cracking. Meow. Shit. Right? I ain't never heard a cat's knees crack until me. Your now. cat tone, your cat is the type of cat to start patting. You owe him money, like, you know what, man? I ain't even got it on me today. <laughs> oh, you be it's on in my other, other pants. pants. <laughs> Let me just move some things around. I'm going to get you on next Tuesday. I'm going to have a couple things I working. You, man. Mm -hmm. uh, that's funny. Hey, yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you drink it, Denise? Ramen um, juice. First of all, I don't even eat Thai ramen, but I do miss it. Um, <laughs> it's uh, vodka, some peach, something, and some of the popsicle. Okay. So I still, yeah. even when the popsicle's gone, I still got the popsicle. Kev, say it. Kev, say it. <laughs> What are you gonna say, Kev? I wasn't gonna say nothing, Kanisha. I support black women. I love you, man. You just do whatever you gotta do. I love you hey, so much. Hey. You Cause I haven't been right since you called me a vagabond or whatever the hell you said. <laughs> I be still thinking about that to this day. I be really. Uh, I'm still I love some black poor women, <laughs> black women too. But I'm like, what is this Tupperware we drinking out of? You guys, when I had the baby, I put my bar up. This is all that I have. Dang, y'all don't listen. How old was the, how old was the baby? One and a half. Maybe 14, man. Come Come on. On. <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking about the lick. I'm talking about the cups. <laughs> this is a baby feeding bowl. This is what she eat her oatmeal out of. What do you normally drink out of? Like when, it's, this, you know, when you want when you want to you know have some water or something. Oh, we have water bottles. It's either this or the water bottles. Like I drink, this is what I get for the liquor. Because we don't drink juice in our house. It's just water. <laughs> Or liquor. That's it. Kanisha, this is the only thing I don't understand. Wow. You so we say gotta... you got rid of the bar and the, the shot glasses, like those are impossibly expensive to purchase again. Yeah, Cups but are... Kev, Kev, have you ever lived in a one-bedroom apartment with a baby and a dude that's 10 years younger than you that got extra shit well, that you don't need? So well, all well. I have is this. I don't have no room for nothing new. Baby stuff took over my house. I have nothing. Oh, nothing. You, have to do you had a good with the, with the outside kids. So you I, kept I the liquor and left the glasses. For, for four dollars, <laughs> you can go get a little 
little bag of them plastic red cups and you'd be good. You can reuse them. <laughs> or she's them and prepare them. I can get though. some baby oil gel. <laughs> or you could get regular cups and then feed the baby out of those. And then when you're not feeding her, you would have Ooh. cups. Ooh. I might yeah. mess her childhood up by being selfish. I like that. Yeah, she had to learn. The, the baby gets to learn early. It ain't about her, okay? You had a life before that, baby. If she got to eat out of cups, then that's just what she got to do. You don't have to drink out of baby food. Well, she got to suffer. You don't want her right. going to college don't you go and buy her drinking no lemonade, lemonade out of lemonade chairs. Chairs. You let her jump up into the big one. Wait, what all these experienced fathers say? <laughs> what y'all say? Shit, I'm, I'm not new. a father. I'll exit this conversation. I'm not a father, so I'm going to exit. Well, tell him you could have been one, but you was playing. Anyway, keep going. You're not a oh, father. Hey, father. hey, don't be bringing up 2014 like that. <laughs> I wouldn't even took that plan B for you. But anyway, keep going. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> no, no, you're not a father. I'm looking at the chat. It say down here is some women. <laughs> it's like, Tony, come back to Texas to see your baby. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you got to post a picture with being with a little gray streak. I'm about to be like baby bills. <laughs> Oh, is, that, is that a gray streak in your ass? Well, I thought no, you the, smell it. The, ba the baby I had the baby have his little pose hitting the finger on his mouth. Oh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, don't tell daddy. <laughs> you be like, this is your baby. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, Tom did it real. Tom. Told us really letting the joke die before he come back. Yeah, he gonna feel that on now. <laughs> but to hear you, you remember his his mama at the house, and so she like, wait, I got a grandbaby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grandbaby. I know mama too. Hey, mom. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Kanisha looked directly to the camera on the last <laughs> shit. Yep. <laughs> I won't tell. <laughs> I should have never started drinking around this mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I what cannot wait for tomorrow. That snort is legendary. Oh, snort is back. That snort My gosh. is legendary. But can I tell you guys of something that I'm very proud of since we're talking about liquor? Please. Do you know that I stopped drinking on stage when I went to Nate's room? I did five shows all sober, standing nose, everything. I stopped drinking on stage. Oh, that's yeah. a big deal. I look at it for people who know that's a big deal. I never used to drink before I got on stage. I got to LA and became dependent on liquor. I don't know what it is about Los Angeles. The whole time I was in Seattle, I never drank on stage. I just drank after. And then when I got to LA, it was like, I can't get on stage unless I drink. And I became hella dependent, like on an entire bottle of liquor a night. So I stopped drinking before I got on stage. I haven't drank. For, that's what I'm saying. I barely drink, but this is like a date for me. Like, look at this. Look at this. I'm dating. Shit, I'm I, sipping I, and dating. I respect that, Kamisha. I really do. Kudos to you. Thank you. I'm very I happy. It took a while. I don't ever, uh, I couldn't drink and perform because I, I need clarity of focus in mind. <sighs> I'm reckless at the mouth. So, <laughs> especially when I drink, I get real reckless. I mean, I'm still good at my job, but I like the clarity a little bit better because when you're drinking and you go blank, that's when you just go off deep in and start saying stuff you don't have no business saying. But like, damn, I just busted myself out. So at least when I'm dr not drinking, you know, I know exactly what I want to do. Even if I go blank, I can. It's easier to pull something. So I think I'm very proud of that. Have. Like I, you know, I started. I remember when I started. At first, I had to have a little drink before I went up, and then once I started smoking, and be like, all right. That would be what I would do to come down after my show. Be like, all right, cool. Cause you know how you had that 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 buzzing high mm -hmm. after you get off the stage and be like, all right, that'd be my that'd be my little release. So, but then it got to the point where it was like I couldn't drink at all while I was on stage. I don't know why that was. It just felt it felt felt crazy. But then it transferred to when you get on the road, you ain't got shit else to do. You standing mm. on stage, it's like, let me just hold this beer. Next thing you know, <laughs> I, I had two, I had three beers in the night. And it was like, eh, I don't know. I just don't, I don't, I don't drink a lot no more. But I, I went through both sides, man, where I just couldn't do it to where now it just don't even matter. I just, I just zone out and rock. Yeah. Hey, but Jay, I, hey, Jay, what, uh, what comedy club did you sneak um, into tonight to do the show? Where you at? <laughs> that echo was bouncing off of every chair in that goddamn club. Yeah, I'm in my garage. That's where I'm at. The echo, the echo is probably just because I'm supposed to put in my um my headphones. 
Yeah. Or because it's a because it's a five car because it's a five car garage. That's that could be the reason. Yeah. It's, no, it's three. Okay. I do want to be clear though. I drink after the motherfucker. So if anybody out there want to buy me a drink afterwards, you know, I just don't want to buy get it confused. I think I'm not drinking after the show. It's just before. Yo, Kanisha drunk. I, I want no parts. <laughs> Let me tell y'all a story. I love it. Let me tell y'all a story about drunk Kanisha. Me and her, we we doing this show way out in the valley somewhere, and we all out there, you know. Man, I don't even remember the show. We two hours out to LA. My car broke down, and Keon had to come pick us up. But keep going. Car uh, broke down. So Kanisha, but Kanisha is obliterated, and every time Kanisha gets drunk, she wants to battle rap anybody breathing. <laughs> She'd be like, let's battle rap. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. These motherfuckers want to battle me, Tone. I'm like, yo, let's go. She's like, nah, I'm about to hit him with the busy bone real quick. I'm about to battle rap. I'm just like, Denisha, don't get out of here, man. Fuck you, Jigga, man. They can't see me on the mic. Ain't no mic. Ain't no mic. Denisha. She in, she, car, she in the car with us driving away. She's still battling the, the back window. Hey, listen, it was these thug ass dudes. They were having a, but I was out there killing them. And they was like, hey, let's go. It's like 3 4 in the morning. Oh, and man. I keep jumping out the car, like, oh, I got to go pee real quick. Oh, I left my ID. And then they would come find me. I'm over there just laying them out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate oh, it. Oh, guts oh, you night. need to tell me after three shots, she like, hey, yo, yo. I'm busting wig cap back. He, he, he is Damn, eight miles. This is the Wendy's. Wow. What are you? Do you want to place an order? Man, mom's spaghetti. As soon as she started drinking, mom's spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> this is a fact. This is a fact. Battle rap, like it's it's a fact, and I would not leave. I kept finding reasons to get out of the car. Keon had already drove all the way over there to get oh us. Oh my the gosh. Earth. Was it Keon or Jay Alexander? They always look alike to me. I can never tell the difference. It's one of them two. And I think no, it was Keon. Keon. Keon's was in Keon. the top right lap now, like, nigga! Yeah, was, <laughs> okay, so Keon. Keon, Keon remember. That's what I was like. I think it was Keon, but I don't want to say it's him. It wasn't. And I'm telling you guys, I must have went back to that battle rap. I remember like 30 times that I was a champion. Like, every level, it was somebody new for me. And I was just going to walk away from the title. I was like, oh, I hated her guts. Because we couldn't leave her behind. We were falls <laughs> deep in the valley, uncertain territory. Like two hours out of L.A. <laughs> Thugs, we were in Victorville. Thugs. We were in Victorville. That's hella far. It was like in Victorville. Uh, I wasn't Victorville. It was uh, it was up the other way. Oh, oh Oxnard. Yeah, Oxnard. 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 Yeah. We we in unfamiliar territory. Like, no, let's go. <laughs> now fuck these niggas, Tone. It was a bar. Come on. That's such an aggressive first bar, too, Tone. That's like man. Oh, out man. The gate. I hated her gut. I ain't talked to Kanisha for a while after that. He didn't. He didn't. I was he didn't. Yo, when we had my 90s party. Oh, no! No, we might as well just let it happen now. <laughs> I feel like you still haven't forgiven me for that party because I ain't been invited to nothing else and I feel some kind of way about it. But keep going. <laughs> <laughs> we had my 90s party. We having the time of my life. I mean, we, Kanisha, she came in with vodka in a in a minute made thing. I was like, girl, you got strawberry kiwi juice and it's clear. She was like, it's vodka. I was like, girl, well, I know it ain't juice. So she, she thought she was telling you a secret. <laughs> yeah, it's, all, it's, it's vodka. <laughs> well, yeah, so, Speaking of in your house. <laughs> we having the time of our life. And then you know, basically all at the same time, everybody's like, well, I'm going to head out. Man, they, everybody head out. Kanisha left. We cleaning the house. I'm talking about kids on the way back with the baby seated. I'm talking about Kanisha bust back in the house. <laughs> Woo! Hey, where's the party at? I want food. I, hey, there's food left over at the party. We should go in the trash. I, I see y'all done put a piece of chicken on the top. Ain't nobody even touched this chicken. I'm an old boy. so drunk. You said it was, on, it was on the top? It was on the top. <laughs> Listen, you know the music was off. We wiping down counters about to go to bed. Kanisha like, hey, what, 
Where y'all? Why y'all? Why y'all tired? Why y'all sleepy tired? You got Radio Raheem. She got, she got a boombox. She Radio Raheem. She got. This is such a music. I got the music. Oh my God. Probably, she, she probably this tried is... to battle that piece of chicken. I know Shut she did. Up. This little piece of chicken think it got bars. No, look out, Cam. I'm about to battle this piece of chicken. This is why I don't drink as much. Do you know I slept outside of Kim's house? At least I was responsible. I didn't wake up till 10 o'clock. And then I went home. Like, I literally, <laughs> I had took a nap. And then when I woke up, I was hungry. And that's when I went. I was like, oh, the party probably still going. It uh, wasn't. Was, <laughs> you said you passed out for like an hour and, and, and a half, Tone. It, it was <laughs> over. I mean, we got we done changed from 90s clothes into basketball shorts and, like, white beater. I remember. I love, I love the, how I didn't even know the door was unlocked. The front door was unlocked. It was strong. Yes, Melissa was just looking. She was like, "Are you good?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm good." Hey, hey, yeah, I love how, I love how you, you said want these bars. I love how you, you said I slept outside bars. of his house. Like that's passed out. That's not sleep. You didn't sleep. No, that definitely like wasn't that. That was but a bad At least I was responsible and did not try to drive. At least I was responsible. You passed out and recovered, like and you were ready for round two. Long like, long oh, let's time. get the party. So, but you didn't put on the like, gown. Alicia, we'll get you a hotel. She was like, I do this all the time. I'll be fine. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sprinkles come on? <laughs> Yo, that party was live as hell. I had the microphone. I was going boom. Thugs. I love that party, but oh, I have not been great. invited. She killed her karaoke performance. She oh, just, yeah. And she yo, got, the party got out of control. And I didn't grow up doing no parties or nothing like that. At some point, people started telling other people to pull up that I didn't know. Oh, Those yeah. Like eight dudes sitting at my front door eating chicken. Like, man, this is lit. Whose birthday is it? I was like, mine, sir. Why? I don't. You just come to parties with people you don't know? It was some thugs in there. I know. Trust yeah. me. I know how to find them. I'm like, what are y'all doing here? It was crazy. People was calling everybody. I, okay, so I invited some of these niggas you didn't know. But look. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> okay. Hey, you can hang out with a third anymore. crowd for sure. I don't, I don't, I don't deal with niggas I don't know in my house. That would never happen. Except for the ghosts. <laughs> except for the ghosts? <laughs> the the, the his house is haunted, y'all. Oh, I don't no. know who this nigga is that live in my house, but this nigga will not leave, bro. You just, you you just moved in, real? You just moved in. I know. That's why we're like, fuck, do we move or we just try to see if he cool? We like if he don't start moving shit around and like, like fucking with us while we sleep, we just gonna ride this shit out, bro. Like right now, all he's done is just like show himself to the kid and like call my name a little bit, but like long as he ain't like hide wallets and shit like that, we're like, all right, nigga, calm down. We'll, we'll Wait a minute. coexist. No, yeah, I grew up with a ghost. Wait, that shit is real. Oh. That's why I got nervous. Go ahead. Yeah, you had a real nigga pop up in your house to your kids mm -hmm. and and <laughs> and then call your name out? Bro, like, she, that, nigga, that's she when it's time out. to pack, bro. <laughs> Bro, he, came out, he, came he got out. 10 more months on his lease. <laughs> like, all right, nigga. Yeah, we just signed the lease in August, so we gotta ride this bitch out. Jay's packing up. <laughs> you can't just pack it up. You got you gotta do you got you got you got 10 more months to do. Mm -hmm. I bet hey, you know cool. life is real when you got a ghost and a new lease, and you're like, man, I must just have to deal with the ghost. I can't break <laughs> no. I, just can't, I can't break this lease. I gotta deal with 10 more months of a ghost. Yeah, when you just move we in, got you got a couch coming it out. Is, we is still, it, we got it, furniture coming. We got. Listen, is, is it a real? Nigga saying save the RG? house. Like I didn't do. We saved the house soon as we moved in. That's a, that's an automatic. We saved the house soon as we got in. I got the nag champ. I'm burning on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? We be playing gospel on on Sundays. Well, the sage is for negativity, so it might be a positive ghost then, because the sage yeah, is he was like, negativity. Hey, y'all done cleared all the bad ghosts out. It's our time to <laughs> Maybe he maybe maybe he just trying to get your attention. Like to, I'm right to here. <laughs> <laughs> so here's your hey, boy. So here. You're gonna get you a ghost rider. <laughs> Shit, and that's the ultimate ghost rider. Can't nobody even find now. Like damn, no, you got a ghost that was tagging your jokes. Like, hey, Terry, you got a great set tonight. Listen, I got this <laughs> free for you. But if, but if the tags were good to hear, you'd be like, yo, man, and low key, man, he's he pulling his weight for the yeah, family. What if, what if you had a cool ass ghost in your house just complimenting you? I see your fit, bro. <laughs> 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 You can do it. 
<laughs> you wake up, he just be okay, nigga. Yeah. You. Do the hat. Do I'm telling you, do the hat. Uh, I see you. Do the hat. Be like, I see you, boo. <laughs> oh, you going you gonna hit the camouflage bucket with the camouflage sweater on it? Boy, you don't double up. He don't kill him. They gonna be with me. He don't even oh, he just go, oh, oh. <laughs> Where you headed tonight, my nigga? You know, I got this little show. What you gonna do? I don't know. I'll be playing with some cans or some shit, but I see you, though. <laughs> I feel like that nigga was watching every episode of Lovecraft Country with us. Like, nigga, I seen that before. <laughs> I know her. Nigga. Hey, I know that's her. That's my nigga Henry. That's my together. nigga Henry right there. Wait, 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 wait. Pause it, pause it. Go back, go back real quick. Let me see. <laughs> I know that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Leonardo DiCaprio meme uh, to hear where he pointed at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> And she done gained some weight. She used to be thin back in the day. She used to be way back in Pennsylvania. You know. Nah. Oh my God. Oh, it be mad so y'all just ain't gonna decorate for Halloween and shit. Hey, <laughs> that girl's gonna be out. You're not gonna celebrate my shit. Wow. That's what we doing? Wow. Okay, you here. Wow. You got all the Thanksgiving stuff. You even had something for Labor Day. June 10th. I get my people. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, 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 no. Oh man, man. Like, we really, we really go. Like I, I'm not opposed to moving them already. Like I'll break them. I'll break the money to break the lease. I pay the money to break the lease. I just like, I, I can't deal with no like poltergeist type shit. Like, but you know what? Go ahead. Daughter, the, go ahead. Taller than me, and if she gets possessed and like starts <laughs> swinging, I'm gonna have to shoot her in the foot. I ain't gonna be trying to fight nobody taller than me, bro. I can't do it. I grew up with a ghost, so that's how I know how real that shit is. I'm not even gonna bring it up because it took me a long, a lot of therapy to get over it. But yo, he's telling the truth. If you think you got a ghost, you do. We grew up with a ghost. And you ask anybody in Seattle about the greenhouse on Martin Luther King in Alaska, even the police was scared of that motherfucker. My, so my aunt, my aunt died, and then we had to move into that house afterwards. And then before we moved in, Martin Luther King and whatever the other street you say it was, and Martin Luther King in Alaska. That's when you, you moved and you lived in the house that your aunt died in. That was that that, that one that you talk about. The yeah, but that, yeah, but they was all. So this is what happened. So before my aunt had moved in there, this dude had killed his family in the bathroom upstairs. So we used to always be scared of the bathroom. And then my aunt had moved in there, and then she was dating, fucking with, messing with these Cubans. I always be trying to watch my language in front of cats, uh, messing with these Cubans. And they used to play with the Ouija board. And I know people don't think this stuff is real, but it is because it traumatized my childhood. So they had opened these portals. A lot of stuff started going on. Me and my sister were sitting on the couch and like something stepped on the glasses and the glasses broke. And even the police were scared. Like when they had showed up and someone was, get out of my house. None of the police would go in. Like it's a long story. So they burned the weed. First they threw the Ouija board under the church. The shit ended up back at the house. Then they burned the Ouija board, but all four of the corners didn't burn. We went through a lot of stuff as a kid growing up in a haunted house. Trust me. And so I had got this picture from the Goodwill. It was this picture of Jesus. And he had some lambs and shit. And I would put it under my window. And I had that orange little Bible they would give you for free. And I swear to God, you can ask any of my sisters. We used to sit under the picture of Jesus. And I would just read the Bible. And we would just sit under the picture of Jesus. Because when my mom said we was moving in, we was like, yo, we're not going. But she made us move it every night for years. We would all sleep under this picture of Jesus I have with a little orange Bible because it ghosts be real as hell, yo. And they be messing with you. And that's some real shit. And now I've got to cry and shit. Like, this shit got me. I'm going to be honest. I really wish you hadn't told that story right now. Now that I was here. You got to go to sleep. Know. Yeah, I just love. I love when you people say ghosts to hear. Don't put it on her. She continuing the conversation you brought up. I love that, when people say I got a picture of that. Jesus, and it was the white Jesus at the time too. I didn't know no better. <laughs> I love when people say picture of Jesus because I ain't seen one. I seen a lot of portraits, but no pictures. And I don't know who joke that is. I don't know who joke that is. I know I've heard it somewhere, but like that should make me laugh every time. Every time I hear picture of Jesus, like I don't think he got no selfies out here. I don't think he got no. I get the point. I didn't even realize that you couldn't have got a picture of the Lord. <laughs> you got to you got to get a portrait of the Lord. <laughs> you got to get a rendering. Tanisha, yeah, has got, got to meet the mic. She, she got Spice Adams mic right now. That mother, that mother, hot. What is she doing? She hey, and I'm here. That was classic, bro. Is my mic hot? 
<laughs> he was in here tonight. He was in here tonight talking all types of shit. <laughs> no. That's one of my favorite moments. Oh man, that shit was so funny. That shit was so funny. Uh, we was trying to help him and he he went the whole other direction with it. <laughs> he turned it up louder. <laughs> No game. Leslie was so done. She was so done. Ah, oh, that shit was hysterical. It was, a, it was a good time, man. Tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be a good time too. Just a reminder: if you guys haven't bought your tickets already to the Keep Your Distance uh, Comedy Show, you need to do that right now. Everybody on here has their own uh, promo code. We can get three dollars off. Uh, you need to take advantage of that right now. Tomorrow, I think the tickets go up five dollars, and you right now you can purchase the forty-eight hour link so you can watch the show it all is. Sunday. But if you don't do that in advance, trust and believe you will not see that show. So make sure you get the tickets early. Do not wait till it goes up. Don't be part of the late crew. Okay, get the forty-eight hour pass so you can watch it all weekend. Watch it with your family and friends. And uh, yeah, man, don't cry about it later because we all try to every you you got. Nine different promo codes available to you. Eight on the screen right now. So if you ain't taking a valid saying, you know, you just don't want it bad enough, damn it. Shit. Okay. Yeah, man, Kev, I appreciate it, man. I am non-juice, bro. I am oh, me too. Comedy I... in front of people, fam. I'm man. so excited. Yeah. Bro, Kev, can I can I can I tell you how many DMs I got about this robe and uh the hair tie that you created being like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's not a bad look. I'm like, this is a costume. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you put it on, we said that. that. Yeah. I mean, y'all said that we was there. That was, I mean, but you know, we all, you know, this is what we do. So, like, we all, but Lou's serious. Lou's <laughs> Lou's it, it didn't even look true. weird. It didn't Yo, look weird at all. Like, oh, the thing about the sketches that's backfiring is people are like, man, the sketch is great. Buy the tickets. No, no, man. I just, I just like these. Like, hey, <laughs> hey, man, we are really trying to promote something. We're not just doing this for fun. They <laughs> love them sketches. Yeah, I'd be like, but buy the tickets. They'd be like, no, nah, I'm going to wait until Friday. Oh, my bad. Me, Go ahead, Tom. I'm sorry. I'm just saying it took me a second to see the cut of, because uh, I, I think I hit you for the five heartbeats joint. And man, the, the comeback after the flyer with BT's finger going to the... Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No, the first sketch, the Popeye sketch. The, the first oh, one. my gosh. The dialect specialist. Man, when BT's fingers went back and we cut back to the fingers <laughs> reaching in, bro, I was not ready for that shit. I mean, in the room, it was funny. I didn't know it was coming on the edit, bro. That shit was... I didn't know they got it. I didn't even know they got it. Yeah, me neither. I was ready for it. Oh, man. <laughs> you so you were singing like you were scared, but you know... I ain't <laughs> <laughs> and Frankie Beverly, man, that was, man, that's, uh, bro, because, because first of all, the sketches have all been hilarious, fam. The Godfather's Fire. I watched God, I went back to go watch The Godfather. They were like, oh, I forgot about this one. Oh, my God. That Joker one is everything. Joker. Yeah. That Joker one crazy, yeah. The, the one Joker with the girls. One. But uh, that set it off, though. You know, set it off. Is, oh, that's my off. favorite one. Shantae oh, the was off one was great. Oh the my god! Off one, Shantae really, really made that go. The yeah. thing I like about the sketches is I just be coming with like a part of the idea, and then the comedians we be coming together, be like, "This will be funny. That'll be funny. This will be yeah. funny." And that's bro, what they bro, did. Really I walked in. Man, I, I walked in twenty days, minutes I'm late. I walked in twenty invite. minutes late. Oh, go ahead, Jay. I'm, I'm just saying, one of these days, I hope we get an invite to the sketch group. Old head can hang in there. You got invited, Jay. You, you got invited. invited. Jay. You should have been there with us. You yeah, was invited. You know, all, all this and that one day that I missed, I, 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 got, I got called, called in to work. work. No, we shot all them four in like three hours. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, then, yeah, we all, all yeah, I did, Jay, I got there 20 minutes late. I got there 20 minutes late because of traffic and everything. I got there 20 minutes late. And they already talking. And I was like, hey, so uh, what, uh, like, you know, can I get the rundown of the sketch cab? Like, oh, no, no, we just not doing it. <laughs> We're coming up with it right now. We just we, we bouncing all we we all come in, but like but you know but that's that's like like you said BT early and everybody else has said like that's what's double about finally you know just coming back together and seeing everybody it's like then the juices start flowing again and then yeah everybody, you, gotta let, everybody, you gotta let funny people be funny man you can't come with a like a fully written script and not net, not let nobody like add on to it because we all different and we all different that's what makes it the best yeah pop, passing the Popeyes box was not a part of the plan it was she was just supposed to do a Popeyes commercial I didn't remember who said it'd be funny if we passed it and then did some I was like I think I think it was one of the guys on the camera 
Yep, it yeah, was. It might have been. It was and then everybody started adding their shit. And then when Tone got it, and we just, for some reason, we was just like, whoa! I was like, why did everybody say whoa at the same time? That's what it just made it. And then we just kept it. Yeah, it was natural. That was great. I mean, I, 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 I love that camaraderie, man. It's just like, plus we all want each other to win, bro. Like, that's just, yeah. that's the, you know, anybody mad like at somebody else's joke? Everybody like, oh, man, that's such a good joke. <laughs> one of the yeah, one of the things that uh, a lot of older older comedians they be like they be saying, "Hey man, y'all be liking each other, y'all be helping each other." <laughs> we was not like that. We was like, "Man, forget him and her. We out here alone." Yeah. I'm like, "Well, man, go ahead." So Tony much, on Food Network. It, what is it? Tony, 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 doing, Tony doing a different show right now. <laughs> he doing mukbang. <laughs> making a smoothie with garlic butter. Uh, uh, it, it, if you, if you, I'm sorry to hear, this is your job, but if, if I may, uh, you currently watch Zoom with the homies, but Tony Baker is doing fooding with the homies. <laughs> it's a show inside of a show. Well, I mean, the fact he's showing it to us, because I know he's got his hands like this on every item. That's a lot you of spinning. You pull back his game. Martha Stewart and everybody, and everybody else in his kitchen. kitchen. He's shooting a whole other show on the other side. side. Well, I'll go grab a pot of greens I just made. If that's what we're doing, <laughs> some vegan chicken. I got a big ass pot of greens in the fridge. <laughs> but you gonna come out, go. Kanisha? But you gonna come out with it in, in a baby bowl? <laughs> <laughs> it heats up faster in the bowl. Shut up. <laughs> what in there? Oh my oh. gosh! No, the uh, one. What you yeah. making? The Keenan and the smoke crack was fired too, though. Yeah. That's oh your my god! I love that. Oh my what? god. What? What was that? That was that was that was all Cas voice, man. That was huh? Yeah, man, that was he sounds just <laughs> <laughs> smoke crack, don't you? <laughs> oh, what is the white stuff? What is uh, that? Uh, that's, cool. that's, that's frozen bananas. Uh, that coconut? Oh, uh, it's frozen uh, banana. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were Is that talking. spinach? Can yeah, you push the spinach awesome. down? It's doing too much. Please condense it. Tony not even listening to us right now. He can't hear nothing we saying. Oh, I'm all I, just want, I just want to kind of know what kind of spent, uh, uh, smoothie this is about to be. I'm listening. I'm just showing everybody. Super food <laughs> nasty. That's, 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 oh, yeah, I want to taste this at this point. I need a little bit more berries in there for my personal Now, hold on. I ain't done. Oh, OK. You got some sea moss in there many, or something? Tony, how many frozen bananas you got in this freezer of yours? <laughs> He had two in separate bags. They that's what I'm saying. Them. That's what I'm saying. Hey, no cap. That's what I'm saying. How many, how many frozen bananas we got there? How many frozen packs? bananas last a long time, bro? How many kilos of bananas we got in this freezer? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. That's ridiculous. Okay, got the blueberries for the antioxidants. Yeah, I gotta see it to the end right. now. Yeah, like, okay, man. You know, he got some antioxidants going. All right, yeah, I see it. Antioxidants. Hey, that's Tony, you're low key out here with all the ringtones. Tony got. What if he don't blend it? He just punch it down into uh he just muddle it with his fist. <laughs> oh, you gotta show us ice. ice. You ain't gotta you got show an ice cube tray. You, you, you just put ice in there. Ice. We know ice oh no, that's the it. rubber one. That's the rubber one where you can bend it. This is a little bendy yeah. flex. Oh, was, was it about the tray, not the ice? I don't know. Don't you can, ice when you got the thing, though, you, you can you can just freeze the spinach and then you won't need the ice. If the exactly. if the spinach and the fruit is frozen, you don't need any ice. Just use milk. Yeah, but if you exactly. freeze the spinach, don't it lose all the nutrients? No. It I'm not a scientist. I don't, I don't know. You're not supposed to freeze you sure? Hold on. What'd you say, Tony? You're not supposed to freeze vegetables. Yeah, you're not supposed to freeze vegetables. Okay, shut your ass up. You don't know what you know, man. You don't know but what you that. freeze fruit, though. The fruit, fruit fruit's different. different. Here you had a stroke two weeks ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just want him to push it down. I don't know why it's driving me crazy. No, no, he's he about to finish. punch it. He ain't got no base to this uh, uh, blender. He's just about to punch it down until he can muddle <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, you know that was his first oh, job. So cover it with his what hands. If what if he didn't actually have Cram. a Cram. That's what he's going to say when he do it. Cram. <laughs> Cram. And then he's... Hey y'all, mix this up, and he's gonna drink it straight out the blender uh, thing. That's because I believe in Tony Baker. A sprinkle of cat hair on. What if he picked it up and just started shaking like this, and the whole thing started <laughs> blending? Like, oh, no. <laughs> oh no! You should Everybody do it. Should do it. Just go ahead and dump that out. Be like, yeah, fuck that. that. This is nasty. nasty. <laughs> I'm just trying to see. How I ain't that. quite. I ain't, I ain't quite made it to the health level, level to be able to sit there and make myself a shake that looked like that. I, I really? ain't been there yet. No. It's, 
It's oh, too yeah. much spinach. I make I make shakes, but mine be having all type of shit up in mine. Well, spinach don't spinach don't go that far. That 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 yeah, spinach that, right that, there. That. If you cook that, that shit this much spinach. Right. Right. It is. Right. That's why I wanted to push it. You got to use scale. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying, trying to drink it through a straw. Oh, you got oh you got one of the uh, 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 Cosby Show joints. Like one of them. Uh, I didn't know. It's a puree. Ray. I got a neutral bullet. I ain't got one of them uh, the sticks you put down. I got, I got the neutral bullet too. It always be spilling over though. You gotta tighten the BT. You gotta tighten the, the top. You I been mean, filling it up too far. You put, yeah, you putting too much fruit in there, bro. No, it's not the fruit. It's the apple juice. It's the Mountain Dew. The apple juice. <laughs> well, apple juice is all sugar. You killed the whole smoothie. Yeah. Okay. Don't want to watch me make some get on your tea. Or no? No, you need to put some hemp seeds in there. That's what's with some hemp seeds, some sea moss. That's what you need up in there. Some bladder rat. and some, a little bit of coconut oil. Did. Did. Yeah, that spin is gone. Cram, oh, cram, yeah. well, if you cram, get, if you get the broken plus power. Cram, cram, <laughs> cram, cram. <laughs> what is going on with, with Buzz's Wi Fi? Man, it's just dip with the money deal, honey. It's got to be some I, Tony Baker fans in here. Somebody do some fan art about it. I him. couldn't hear him making a smoothie. Somebody do some fan art of Tony Baker's making a smoothie. I know that he got some fans on here right now. He got to be. Somebody got to be drawing this right now. Just take a still shot. I, I honestly want some uh, smoothie now, though. I don't Listen, know that shit at, all. at this point, Tony, you really done been like, man, that's all right, man. That's all right. I, I wouldn't mind that at all. <laughs> Jay, the smoothie with the, uh, with, I mean, you put three strawberries in almost any combination of vegetables, it's going to be delicious. Yeah. No, nah, man. Fresh strawberries is overrated. I agree. Fresh strawberries are overrated. I agree. It's oh, the blueberries. Every day, it's I, the blueberries I, I, that take I, it up a notch. No, I'm and going, put some I'm, kiwi. Blueberries are great. Blueberries I'm going, do what I'm they come blueberries, to do. Blueberries, uh, grapes, and green apples is, is how I get my. And That's maybe, the best thing. And oh, now oh, may, oh, maybe oh, I oh, oh. maybe I sneak in a little bit of agave because it, I'm bougie. It, but listen, <laughs> if you throw some dates in there, you should have three dates a day, especially men. It's good for your prostate. Eat yep. the dates. Cut up three of the dates and put it in there. It will I don't give think you. I've ever had a date in my life. Let's see me make some peach oh, I could give you one, uh, but no, you can um, <laughs> just put the just put the dates in there. They're good. They're really good for your body. Got a bag of dates in the, in the crib right now. You sure? That's good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on three dates, and I'll take care of my prostate. I'm gonna fry some chicken. I'm gonna fry, fry some chicken and put some Lego waffles, waffles in the toast. And toast and let your wife <laughs> do that next. <laughs> <laughs> This is pretty unhealthy shit. This nigga make making me feel, feel bad. bad. I go get up life every, every day, though. Tony had two bo bowls of cereal, and now you're about to drink this. This is your colon. Is, your, col your colon is uh is moving ready. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna show you the healthiest bowl of shit at all. <laughs> Tony don't moving. stop eating, bro. Tony don't stop eating. When we went to work, he was always hungry. Always hungry. Mm. Tony, Tony snack a lot. A snacker. The like snacks will be yeah. killing you though, man. For me, nah, nothing makes me happier than eating mm. super unhealthy, salty, savory, greasy shit at two in the morning watching TV. Like it's my favorite thing to do. So here goes vegan, vegan fried chicken. This is what we. <laughs> this no, no, is no, our no. fried chicken. Vegan chicken strips. This is it right here. That's really mushrooms, but that's what that's how we do it. Some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at kid <Kim> face. <laughs> That's it. That's Look at Jay's face. And then she didn't even believe it, man. She was sad showing it, showing it to us in the camera. Hey, man, this, you know, we're trying to do a thing or two, man. You know what I'm It saying? is. This is what I've been eating for years. Well, three years I've been vegan, but this is it. It's good, though. I know I, I know Keenan and Tony and I think Kanisha are all vegan, vegetarian. Tone or, or Jay are all vegan, vegetarian yet? No, I got restrictions, but I, I mean, I eat. I eat whatever I want to, but I but I got I got stuff I just don't eat because I don't like it or like it don't agree with my body. But other than that, I eat whatever I want. Gotcha. I'm not I'm not vegetarian. I'm pressed for vegan. You what? Vegan French dip. Fresh for vegan, whatever it's called. Presbyterian. Where you only eat oh, fish? So vegan? You eat fish? Nigga, yeah. I made wings tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made wings tonight, and in my air fryer, I made wings, and my wings are unbelievable. My wings are unbelievable. My air fryer wings are unbelievable. So I, air fryer wings, bro. Air fryer. Oh, wow. yeah. I'm mad the air fryer came out and got popping after I stopped eating meat. Like, goddamn, I really want to try one of them wings. Yeah. 
Yeah, my air fryer game. Air fryer, yeah. And I, and I, I can't be with nobody. If she, if she don't, don't like, have an air fryer, if her air fryer game ain't up to mine, we ain't going to be together. Because my air fryer trust, game is crazy. Trust about the, First of all, if they don't got seasoning, if, then you don't. If they if they, if they seasoning cabinet ain't all seasoned out, then she can't cook anyway. Because I, I mean, use mega seasoning. Oh, seasoning oh, what you say, Jay? What you say, I Jay? think they lying on them infomercial commercials about, about them little air fryers. She said, anyway, nigga made grilled cheese on one of them. Jay, as a friend, I'll make you a grilled cheese and air fryer. It's going to blow your hat off. Okay. Hey, your mic sound like you're doing the PA announcement at a high school football game. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Blue 42. Blue 42. Shit. And with another third down. So it sound like this. I want it to sound like Darth Vader or whoever. It, it, well, you have achieved that because, nigga. <laughs> I ain't mean it. Sound like we in an echo. I don't so can't I believe y'all got me. To, to I don't know. I'm tipsy frying here? vegan chicken at this point. Some vegan mac and cheese. Yeah. Anisha, sit down. <laughs> here, what you eating? I'm here always to eat, man. Huh? You drinking some water? Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> be lying. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga here over here got water. It. This nigga face look like chipmunks. He, got, I'm talking about <laughs> drinking water. You eating water to here. Oh, you really were drinking water. No, no. Oh, what's, no he, you, he, he trying not to talk. No, no. All right. So introduce. <laughs> no, no. Say something else. Promote the oh, show. <laughs> <Chicken water. laughs> I saw it right here. Once, once you said that tone, I see that he had, he had tucked it in right there. Wait. <laughs> even he put up that picture. That picture looked like you making an order. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get um. Uh... So yeah, fruits and nuts <laughs> in his cheese. He's waiting for the. <laughs> I was just drinking. <laughs> you guys, that's what I sound. You still Yo, not uh, done. The beverage got some problems in your beard, bro. Uh, I, I was drinking. I, this is frozen like a slush, so I was just chewing the, chewing the ice. No. Oh, you know, I love slush. Let me tell you something. If it's that frozen, I, look, we've talked. Your teeth ain't that good <laughs> to be uh, just to be chewing frozenness. <laughs> Yo, like a slush. I thought you had a cup for this motherfucker. You just took it too far, Tom. You just took it too goddamn far, Jack. <laughs> Here, your 70s voice is lit. You could have been in a black exploitation <laughs> film. I would have seen your movie. Easily. So you're like, I'm, not, I'm only just drinking water, you see. <laughs> <laughs> you took it too far, Jack. I'm drinking water. I'm trying to tell, tell you. Jack, <laughs> Jay is doing the mic check at a concert every time he talks. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, my mic like sound sounds nice, 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 nice. Can you turn me up a little bit more on the monitor? My mic, mic sounds nice. <laughs> Misha, we hear everything you are doing in that kitchen. Oh, well, let me move out the kitchen. <laughs> Girl, you got to mute your phone. You opening every drawer you have. You reorganize right. the silverware. <laughs> You're like, you know, I don't put the spoons on the right side. I don't like them on the left. And I'll put the knives in the middle again. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know a vegan that wears feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's fucking hilarious. I'm sorry. If it went over your head, that's just, well, that's what you're going to see Friday. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I, I will. I'm not judging anything that Tony or uh or Kev eat because I am watching y'all steps and whatever y'all gonna eat, y'all gonna walk it off. Cause y'all, Bruh, be, I'd be, bro. I'd be hiking for a minute. Yes, I it's see. I'm probably watching. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm barely making ten thousand. Y'all be at seventeen, nineteen, but like for the afternoon, I'd be like, I like to hit ten thousand before before I even get my before I even get in the shower. They were. Oh, if I ain't hit ten thousand before I got in the shower, then it's gonna be tough. Well, I try to skate. I try to skate. Oh, wait, go, oh Kadeesh, I'm gonna beat you, baby. I can't go in the car. What'd you say, Tony Baker? I say once I get in the shower, I ain't doing no exercises. Oh yeah, walk. it's over. I I I done hiked with Tony before and passed out. Oh, he sure did. Man, we used to have a <laughs> we used to have whoa, whoa, whoa. a uh, real life. You passed out in real life. Oh yeah, absolutely. Kenan was laid out. 
I thought they're gonna have to go on top for me. I, I literally, they was like, "Why you got a sweater on when you hiking?" I was like, "Ah, oh. oh, oh, you didn't know what hiking was? Was you was you early into hiking?" Bro, I this is what happened, man. I ate a pastrami sandwich before I went. Hilarious. Drunk, no water, and went on a hike and passed out with a sweater on. So you you out here just you just and Tony is just like the you worst good? of the you worst. Good, you good? You should have just eaten flour. <laughs> Right. And then when you were passing out, did you feel it or you, you knew after? I, I felt oh. it. They, they saw me feel it. Cause I was, I was like, hey, y'all, I don't feel good. And then I started cramping up and my hands literally like did the Chris Rock. You know how he be doing his hands like this? I had the Chris Rock hands. I, got two I, just, I, just, I just like literally like shriveled up. Yeah. And they kind of just guided me down to the floor like this. It just guided me, him and Chad just guided me down to the floor. We had to uh, massage his little hands. We got you little hands. <laughs> little work to, no, to, to be that vulnerable in front of comedians got to be the worst. Oh, man. man. Oh, Tony Tony's the worst person to be vulnerable in front of, man. He's terrible. I, I yeah, but, yeah, but I, can, I can see Tony doing this. Wait there a minute, hold go. on. <laughs> why, am I, why am I there? <laughs> he just he can't. The horrible, I'm trying to look bro. at you. There he goes. <laughs> why, am I, why am I terrible? Man, remember, you remember when we was in Sacramento and I was, I was telling you a story, like a, a vulnerable story. I was spilling my guts out to Tony. He was like, oh, he just well, went yeah, to sleep. That was sleepiness, though. That was in the wrong <laughs> He moment. went to sleep. <laughs> I, I was asleep. hanging on by a thread before like you this. got uh, there. He literally just split <laughs> down, too. Wait a minute, hold on, man. Like, we was, we was talking regular. And then when he got, like, super deep and serious, I was already halfway out of here. Nah, man. <laughs> I was on autopilot already. I'm going to pass out on your hopes and dreams. Tony, you mean to tell me Kenny was like, and you know what? I didn't have a good relationship with my father. You were like, mm. yeah, I was <laughs> yep. out of here, Ken. Oh, <laughs> that's that day, with a man. that's what's up. That's that day, I was like, man, like, my mama like, never oh, loved man. me. Like, yeah, that's what's up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, what you that's doing that's tomorrow? That's so here, my whole family <laughs> died in the school bus <laughs> explosion. I'm like, man, it'd be wild out here. <laughs> I had nothing for him. He went to sleep. I didn't want to wake him up. I couldn't wake him up. I just sat wake there. Wake him up, Kevin. You can't let him be tired right now. You need him. I, I can't wake him up. That's rude. Yo, Tom, man, you got to <laughs> That's wild. Your mind hey, listen, if Tony up, Baker want to go to sleep, he going to sleep, bro. Oh, yeah. Tony... Tony said, hey, man, you know your mind got burned up. Fires be hot, man. Yeah, man, it's crazy, <laughs> man. Sometimes, you know, fire, fire is like you, you can rise again if you're a phoenix. And he didn't even apologize like, Man, afterward. people need to be checking their smoke detectors. That's what I be trying yeah. to tell people. Was the batteries in the smoke detector? Because you got to get the C, the V batteries. You know? <laughs> That's the only time you need a nine. Yo, Keenan, you were went, you went, went. talking and then did you look at him and is he asleep or you watch him slowly fade down to tire? I, I, I was telling Did you know it was happening? Did you know it was happening? Not, ex not, at this, not at that point. I saw him at the end of his sleep. So I, when I turned he around, he was Keenan like, turned his back and had a soliloquy. <laughs> and he just, he just split out. <laughs> Tony, what you... And then and then he didn't Keenan, even, you can take that then, then he didn't down. apologize about it. <laughs> he didn't, he Keenan looked out day. the window when he was telling his story. See, that's why I am the way I am today. <laughs> Wait, and then and then after that, he asked me to like tell story, story three. He asked me to tell the story again the next like the next day. Like, hey, man, you want to retell it? I'm telling you shit. <laughs> we tell you the story, nigga. Come on, no. Come on, it's like, two o'clock so, now, bro. I'm awake for real. Come on, man. Yeah, you know, so it was a plane crash. Hey, Kenny, turn around with this. Kenny, turn around with this. You feel me, Tony? Tony? <laughs> Tony? Jesus. Hold on. Tony. Let's paint Tony, the Tony, picture. Tony fell asleep though. with a bowl of cereal on his, on his chest. <laughs> Let's paint the picture. It was mad late. We was both, we was we was doing a comedy club. We was in the Bay Area, actually. Yeah. And we was oh, staying yeah, yeah. with Keon's homeboy. We was we was staying in his garage because he had like two couches in there. So we both laid out on each couch. And so we already set up for bed. This is pretty much me and Keenan are pretty much brothers in the bunk bed at this point. We ain't got no covers on. But I was covered up. <laughs> I had the blanket. I was like, yeah, you know, we just talking, but you know it's the wind down. And then Keenan gonna take it serious, and I'm all I'm halfway out. Keenan hopped off the top oh, bunk and was gotta, like, I need to talk to you. 
So you got to sit up. You can, you got to come out the blanket when you know your boy is, he laying his heart on the line. You you feel like, I feel like you was like, yeah, man. Keenan man. came down the ladder. He hopped Yo. on the top bunk and needed to talk. <laughs> bro, Kev, my you know, eyes Kenan, were watering, Kenan bro. Keenan had both his your hands eyes were watering. Your eyes were watering. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I was four, right? Wait, Wait your, your eyes was watering? I was telling the story, yeah. I was telling the story. I, was, I got teary-eyed. So when I looked over, I was like, this nigga got, I'm about to drop a tear. Yeah. This nigga drop a tear. <laughs> and that's what happened to my whole family. <laughs> so, so it's been and only then was I able to reconnect <laughs> with my father. <laughs> well, like I said, the, the most disrespectful thing was him asking me to tell the story the next day. Mm -hmm. I take the sleep. <laughs> you can't do that, Tony. <laughs> hey, man, listen. So about last night, so your <laughs> mom got hit by a train or <laughs> ran ran a train. Let's go through that set again. What's the set you was talking about last night? Like, Nigga, I was telling you about my. <laughs> would y'all would y'all would y'all open up to somebody that was half sleep? Tone, you got to understand. Yeah. You know, the late night thing, you bonding, you like, man, you know what, man? This is my boy, Tony. I'm a, I don't even really be thinking like that. You know, Keenan thought about that before. Tony, he Tony turned over, yeah. turned, Tony turned over his stomach. Keenan didn't even see it. <laughs> Tony was laying like this on the pillow. And this, this might have been, this might have been Tony and I, maybe second road gig or something like that. So this, you know how on the road you bond with people. So we, this is, this Not is a bonding thing. moment. I was like, we ain't gonna never be friends. We ain't gonna. <laughs> no. he, he, he has not opened up ever since. I haven't. <laughs> I've been, I've been closed off. Tony, you know what's funny is he he forgave you in that moment for almost killing him in the car. He was like, hey, yeah. <laughs> you know what, man? I I, I, I want to forgive you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I miss all the forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> Like, the I was out of here, man. Let me tell you about when Tony is done, he's done. We had a road trip. I think it was me, him, Dante, and I don't know who else was in the car. Now, we are hella far out with you guys, and I'm tipsy as hell. I like, it's no way that I should have even drove us home. And Tony just looked at me and was like, look, I, I'm, we not going to make it if I drive. And everybody else was fake and sleep in the back. So here my drunk ass, oh. like, y'all, oh, remember when I drove... Sleep? They was fake asleep. And apparently, they, they they have no license or nothing. But you guys don't understand. I drove back pretty much naked. From I get drunk and I take my clothes off, right? So yeah, I'm like, yo, yo. <laughs> and I had to. I drove us back pretty much naked, like a two hour drive, tipsy as hell. And I'm thinking at least Tony gonna stay up and talk with me and help us get home. I look over, he's knocked out, and these two that were fake asleep, everybody sleep. I'm like, yo, I could really just. Kill us all. Ain't nobody basically a butt ass naked drunk person <laughs> driving us, and I was out of here. I was... <laughs> it was done. Like, do you know how crazy that is? You'd be like, All right, she's naked. I'm at least stay up and help her. No, he when he's done, he's done. And it was a long ass drive. Hey, you we, know was what I'm San Diego. we was coming from San Diego. We was coming back from San Diego. And and I was I like, Tanisha, <laughs> make sure you put the good gas in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, when he's done, he's done. It don't matter what the situation is. I'm like, I should be the last person driving us home. I mean, I can do it, obviously, but I probably should have not have been the, the best candidate. And we I look in the back. I'm mad at the uselessness of Dante trying to fix Man. They knew They knew they heard me. Yes, because Tony was like, look, I'm so tired. I cannot drive. Can anybody drive any? And we look and they are both back there fake, like they, dead knocked out. And so it's they, only me up naked going, y'all, I really am they naked was, at the they gas station. Like that dude, they was like that dude in coming to America that fell down the steps to, <laughs> with the drink. That's exactly what they did. They fell down the steps. I was like, hey, man, one of y'all is driving back. <laughs> and it was me. This is ten years ago. I don't get like that no more. But back oh. in the day, I used to be wild he's, as hell. He's a driver though, I almost killed Kanisha on the road. Uh, told it better. Man, told it better. It was a it was a puppy on the freeway. Y'all know I like to drive at light at night, like two in the morning. And yeah, it was a puppy on the freeway. So I'm trying to slow down and swerve to miss the puppy. Kanisha stepped on the gas. She's like, man, if you don't hear that puppy, here's the puppy. Swerve. You can't swerve the puppy. You gonna flip the car? I was like, oh, that, that do make sense. You guys, we were going to the, the bay, and he. I don't slow down for nothing under fifty pounds on the highway. I ain't yes, down <laughs> No, BT said. Well, it looked at me. It was just a baby. It looked yeah. at me. He's the car, you guys. He swerved the car, and the shit is rocking. Like we are about to die. Don't let him try to make it seem like it was a baby ass swerve. I was the whole real, shit though. was. So I'm like, so we hitting the puppy. Like what the? <laughs> He's like, what well, a puppy looked at me. Like he like like okay. 
I was the headlight. That wasn't you. That was the headlight. That wasn't you. you. So you've plowed through a puppy before? Can you, <laughs> <laughs> you willing to say that right here tonight in front of everybody? I, I wouldn't have you danced down on a puppy before. I well, it was right a possum, and I did cry because it was Thanksgiving, and I felt like you know his family was going to miss him. But that's the only thing. But you, you're supposed to run these things over him. We were going like 80 miles an hour. You can't swerve yeah, we, at no 80 miles an hour. Yeah, we, you can't swerve. It, it was like, it was the right decision, but at the time, I didn't think about it because I just saw. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was so, a Labrador. It was like a, a, a mangy Labrador. I was like, yes. She was like, nigga, you gonna kill us. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I got too many stories with y'all on the road. I hate it. Her, just so we're clear, you guys, this nigga, <laughs> like he didn't take his sweet time getting to the nitty gritty in the car. <laughs> yo, Tony, Tony was out in under ten minutes. Yo, you, yo, you how got long, seven you, minutes. How long was the story? Down, you you know, how long was the story? How long was the story? Bro, I couldn't finish the story, Tony. He was. Now, how, out how long were you talking? Minutes. How long were you talking? And then realized under ten minutes. <laughs> Oh, so wait, so you poured your heart out in four to eight minutes. Was he it a comic 10 minutes or a regular 10 minutes? He didn't come out with the hard right away. He didn't come out with the hard pour. He I was, was getting to the He was building up to it. In seven minutes, you got seven minutes. This, 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 Tony said, and Tony said the setup was, was, was keeping him. You got the light. Gave you the light. Gave you the light. Gave you the light. Yo, Keenan, tell us, tell us now. Tell you got to trim the fat for this for Tony Baker. You got to trim the fat. So, but, so, Bell, he didn't give him the light. He gave him the night light. He was like, <laughs> Keenan, tell, tell everybody what you were telling me right here, right now. Come on. <laughs> Make it right. Tony, I would never tell you anything again like that. <laughs> And that's why I would I'm never spend my heart on Tony. He got a beard now. He don't. He don't need this no more. He got a beard now. <laughs> here's a, pre, here's the funny beard, part. Keenan. Right, you know what's crazy is if Keenan started telling that story, Tony gonna go together again. He just snack good. Keenan got the suit and voice. <laughs> what if all of us went to sleep right here? That's, that's why they do it. That's when, I wasn't that's even when all that, that green and that shake gonna kick in. You gonna have to run to the restroom all of a sudden. <laughs> 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 Oh, let, me, let me tell y'all why hey, I made keep, the smoothie, keep, keep, man. Keep telling. I'll be right back, though. Yeah. Keep, keep going. Keep... Yeah. Oh, man. I had to make this smoothie because if I... I remember this part. I remember this part. I'm going to come back on the part I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I remember what I don't remember, but, like, I'll be right back. Let me... <laughs> you Tony, say this the worst part, part of this story is that eventually Keenan decided... Oh, I can't do this. And then you were just fully asleep, and he had to sit in that for another 10, 15 minutes. With a, with a wet face, Kev. <laughs> with a very wet face. I, bro, I, don't, I, I can't even explain the feeling that I had when I watched it. And you know Tony snores. This dude talks yeah. to his sleep. Hey, man, I don't be snoring like that. I would be talking. Bro, he, I ain't never I seen you sleep, but it, you snore. I talk. Hold on, so Tony, what if you talked in your sleep like that? That story was boring, That's man. If he, if he would have let tell me, me right sleep, now, he got to get this in under seven. You know I, he got to get under seven. He would have thought I was still up if he was just let it ride. I would have been talking back. I'd be like, yeah, man, yo, stuff be like this sometimes. Get your boy some cereal. Yeah, man, <laughs> grab, grab the cheeseburgers out the trunk. Yep. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got I got extra plates in the glove compartment. Just grab <laughs> put the pie rolls, put the pie rolls in the in the uh, in the bathroom. Boy, if that Yo, ain't Tony, a like, like, like some plate. people talk and they sleep and they say a couple things like yeah, it was, it was blue, it was, uh, it was blue. Tony would be like, that's not what happened last time. I took the one on one, not the one ten to get. Yep. You'd be like, who? Who are you talking to? He would have a full yep. conversation, not one word. Not a sense a full conversation. You be like, is he is he fucking with me right now? Yo, it'd, it'd be hilarious to hear if y'all was sleeping Kenny in there. Kenny here, like, yeah, and then Kenny tried to tell me a story. He know I was tired. I didn't want to hear it. I mean, I was crying, but I also wasn't tired. He is crazy for that one. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, Tony, what, what's your what's your sleeping pattern like? Like, like, because I know the Fitbit tell you everything. Do you get like real sleep like that? Uh, I usually get around like six hours. Okay, but but is it like do you get like the deep sleep parts? Like you know, I show you all the stuff. I'll be looking at it. I'll be getting some deep sleep. It don't be a lot of deep sleep though, but. 
Do you wake up feeling rested? Yeah. Mm, congratulations. What is your kids are growing? <laughs> Kanisha is so noisy over there. Every move, every I'm not fight. doing anything. It's you do murder. everything. It's, it's just you a it's you just, doing it's, it's, make it bad. Uh, it's, it's, You know what? It's probably she my is, earrings she, brushing up against the mic. She got different activities. She, she's shuffling cards. Yeah. No, I think it's my earrings are brushing up against the mic. mic. She changed the tire. Because the mic is here. It's not the it's not the earring. It was the origami you was over there doing. <laughs> <laughs> you was over there making one of these little love notes. Do you like me? Yes or no? <laughs> I didn't have a napkin, so I used one, a note card. Two, three, <laughs> four. You gotta pick one and then flip it. Oh, okay, red. All right, we're Yo, we used to it. really think we was doing something with that BT. We was doing it fast, like that made it better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, now okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now touch one more. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> what, a, nah, what a waste, man. What a waste of time. Because I couldn't feel, I couldn't build one of those right now if, if my life depended on it. Yo, that Ooh. was serious. When you got the four for your eyes only and you could pull the thing out and then it opened up, you was like, oh, they changed the game when they threw that in. <laughs> this has got yeah. a little, this one got a lever on it. Like, All mine like, have Bone Thugs and Harmony songs. And if you pushed one, I would do one of the Bone Thugs and Harmony songs. And all of mine had a bone thug, like, like your, your mom old wish five food stamps. Like, it would say some stupid shit. <laughs> I remember yeah. that. Bro, if yeah. you get a good one of them, you'd be like, this, this motherfucker makes terrible grades, but he's the engineer in the making. He is <laughs> <Yeah. amazing. laughs> he Bustle serious. Bustle serious. We're serious about to close out uh, the end of the show. So let's go ahead and uh, start wrapping it up, man. Um, you got anything you want to let people know? You want to thank them for hitting the cash app or whatever? This is the time to do it. Let's just go. Uh, can I roll first? Can I roll first? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tone Bell. My mom is in town. Let me get back to my mom real quick. Hey, my name is Tone Bell. Appreciate it. I'm at Tone Bell. I'll be on uh, Keep Your So, man, what's the, keep, keep Your Distance? Keep Your Distance. I mean, I'll keep your distance tomorrow with everybody on here tonight, man. I'm, I'm so excited, but I literally cannot wait to do this. I mean, like I got, we had so much fun shooting uh, the, the sketches and everything. And just seeing these, man, these funny ass people. So I appreciate it. And uh, I'm out. Uh, Mama I Bell, we I, love I, you. I, I, I got That's a movie right. coming out December 25th called uh, Sylvie's Love. So check that out. If you ever seen my special on Showtime, check that out. Um, Where's your uh, movie coming out, Tone? It's coming out Christmas Day, uh, probably the Ooh. probably at midnight. It's called Sylvie's Love. It's a, it's a 1950s. Uh, so back is beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, we. I mean, it's COVID. I, Netflix. Uh, I, it, it'll be on Amazon for sure. Okay. Yeah, that, was, that was the part you were like. Yeah, yeah. 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 So when I shave my beard and I do like the hair with the part and everything. So Tessa, Tessa Thompson is like the lead in that. Eva Longoria plays my wife. Like she's amazing. Everybody's dope, man. So like, if y'all get a chance, put it on your watch list, December twenty fifth. Um, Sylvie's love. Uh, watch my special and then watch my tomorrow night, man. You told me like two days too late. Who's your name? But still, I don't know what I'm saying. I am. I'm trying to figure out who it is. Southwest and one way was way more than the round trip. Wow. I don't know who sound it is. Anyway, thank you for uh, uh, taking over my movie plug. However, you can mute everybody from here and do it one by one. You know, you on that, right? I'm on mute. The weekend well, advance. All right, I'm yeah, out. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. All right, see y'all tomorrow. Kevin, was that you? No. Why would I call it out if it was me? I don't know. Everybody else can unmute themselves right now. Maybe it was Tone's background. Jay, you still muted. Kanisha, you still muted. BT, you still muted. Yeah, I'm back. I'm here. Okay. I don't know who that is. But anyway, let's go. Keenan, BT, J, uh, Kanisha, and uh, Kevin. Uh, man, yeah. Uh, catch me. Get the, get the Tony Baker and friends special, man, on Amazon Prime. Gumroad, man. Shout out to Tony Baker, my bro, man. Looked out for me with that. Uh, Keep Your Distance comedy show tomorrow. I'm excited. Uh, give a shout out to Troy Thompson, Denzel, LeBaron, Jose Martinez. Uh, yeah, man. Thank y'all for uh, shooting me, shoot me a little bit of bread. I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, I'm excited for tomorrow, y'all. Animation podcast, if you're in anime. Yeah. There it is. 
Uh, BT, what you got for him? Man, uh, first and foremost, uh, to hear, bro, I love you to death, man. I appreciate uh, what you have created, allowing us to share our platform. And uh, just kicking it with my friends makes me extremely happy. Uh, thank you. Uh, Kev, I love you to death, bro. I appreciate you. Uh, I don't, it's, it's, it's major, man. You just gave, you gave, in, in so many words, you gave niggas their dreams back, nigga. To a certain extent. We ain't been able to do the thing that we love the most, so I am going to savor tomorrow because ain't no telling when I'll be back in front of a crowd, in front of people again. So I appreciate you for that. Uh, Kings and crew, y'all know I love y'all 3,000 uh, in the chat. To... Here we go. Kiara Sade, Shabarin, and I got a backcourt world and Adam and Jose Martinez, Jasmine, Twizzin, and Gabriel on a can of Tawana. Appreciate you guys for the cash traps. I think I nailed them all perfectly. <laughs> uh... <laughs> If you're not following the YouTube page, please follow it. If you have not added yourself to the Discord, please uh, do that as well. I'm um, pushing the 10K. We had 80, 88, 88 on the YouTube. So we had 88, 22. We pushing on through. Uh, Try to hit the 10K before the year's out. Um, other than that, watch Gimme 5 if you have not already. Uh, the episodes are fantastic and more Gimme 5 on the way. Visit Dracula Jones party, Halloween night. Uh, we going to all R&B okay. music, baby making music, slow jams, and I'm going to do some hip hop at the top, uh, for, um, and those, yeah, donate anything you want, donate a dollar, donate $10,000, either way, you're going to get the same virtual Halloween party. So other than that, uh, I love y'all, man. Join the discord, man. And download Tuskegee if you haven't. Mm. All right. Uh, who we got next? Uh, all right. Jay, let's go. Let's go. Jay, Kanisha, Tony, Kemp. Okay. Uh, first of all, I don't know how I'm going to follow all of that. I don't have quite that much shit to promote. Uh, so I'm going to just like stumble around for a few minutes to make my time go as just as long as <laughs> BT's and everybody else's time did as I find things to promote like off the top of my head. First of all, on my YouTube page, which is located at J Phillips Live, if you backslash that with the YouTube, like they do the things that they do that would take you over to my page where you will find the programming that I have started to produce, uh, which on Monday nights, I do my Mind of the Quiet Dude 2.0 podcast. I live stream that directly there before it goes off onto your favorite platforms. And then as well, what you think is a show that I do that is quite incredible that I would invite everybody here once again to come do. Uh, Tahir has done it twice. Uh, I put an inbox for Tony Baker, no response yet. BT coming and hopefully everybody else uh, on here would be loving to come do my what you think coming up soon. And Which inbox, tomorrow man? we're gonna be, I inboxed you. I should have texted you, I know. You you got a billion followers. Please, I please in your DM. Me, I'm just, just gonna just call. Stuff. You know, I could have called you, TB. I'm not calling you out. I love you, bro. You know what it is. I just hope that you do the show one day because it's quite fun, and I would love your goddamn comedy on there. So, with that being said, uh, I will see y'all tomorrow on the Keep Your Distance Comedy Show. Kev, I appreciate you letting a brother come on there and brother. rock. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate. Uh, let's go, Kalisha, then Tony, then Kev. <clears throat> yeah, gotta unmute yourself uh, first. Can I, I can't do that. Oh unmute. shit! Okay, look, I thought you had me on mute. Hi again. I'm so excited to be on Keep Your Distance Comedy. Thank you again, Kev. We are definitely gonna have a blast. Um, I will be doing all my mom jokes, so I'm excited about that because I've transitioned, you know, from popping bottles to making bottles. So this will be fun for everybody. It'll be a lot cleaner than what you're used to. Um, actually, very clean. <laughs> um, I have a new show on TheBeastRadio.com every Saturday, two peas in a podcast. So make sure you guys come through. Uh, follow me on YouTube. And I have a momish page on my parents, M-O-M underscore I-S-H underscore, or you can find me at Kanisha Bestest Comedy. Also, I definitely want to give a shout out to Nova Morgan, Latisha Kier, Troy, Hank, LeBron, Jessica, Talisha, Juan, Brian, Christopher. Let me tell you guys something. And everybody from the last podcast, because um, when I was on Zooming with the homies, Remember I told you guys I had to get a bridge? I used y'all's money to get a bridge. So let's work on this one down here. Yeah, your show helps me get my teeth fixed. And for all those don't know, I got rid of my little baby teeth. And now I have real front teeth. Oh, shit. So zooming with the homies, y'all put in on that. So everybody go ahead and uh, drop five so we can get these teeth in order. Because I got a movie to film and I need these pearly whites going. But thank you guys for having me. 
And uh, remember to take a drink and relax during COVID. I don't, uh, Tony Baker, what you got for me? Bro, I got, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing Keep Your Distance Comedy tomorrow. Pull up for that. Use the Tony promo code for your discount. You know what I'm saying? Honey, child, these biscuits. Um, <laughs> also, uh, I got the Skibbity Pap hoodies on sale now. Order it now. It's on sale through Monday. So get it now. It might be a little surprise sale tomorrow kicking off for the weekend. So uh, we'll see about that there. Uh, don't forget to get Tony Baker friends like Keenan said earlier. You got Keenan Baker on there, Keon Poli, DC Irvin, and Brandon Lewis on that thing, and I think y'all will enjoy it. Um, don't forget to check out Daddy Issues podcast. Um, follow me on Twitch. I want to give a shout out to the people that cash app your boy, Kiara Sade, Troy Thompson, Shereen Youngblood, Latasha Pritchard, Brian Dixon, Jose Martinez. Man, I appreciate y'all, man. Get that skibbity pad hoodie tonight. I'll put the link right here in this joint right here. You can get it right now. You feel me? You hear me? You hear me? You feel me? Yeah. What do y'all see? Get him on stage. Y'all almost done. Uh, yeah, I just want to shout out everybody for supporting the show. want to shout out Tony Baker. There was a time I was telling him my... You know how my father left me and he he <laughs> fell asleep in the middle of my story, man. It just really prompted me to just go ahead and reconnect yeah. with my father after that. Yeah. So uh, I want to thank Tony for that, man. He he pushed me out of there. <laughs> but nah, man, make sure you uh 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 use to hear his code mobster. Uh, if you want to support him personally for the um keep your distance show and just come out, man. Enjoy these new comedians. Everybody who's on the show is fire. You know what I'm saying? We we book in only fire comedians so come out and watch everybody rock man a lot of different styles man come have a good time and watch us live or on the replay either way thank you so much to hear for this for this amazing platform i'm proud of you well thank you it. brother i appreciate all y'all coming on thank you to the rewatch <laughs> game thank you to the entire more mob uh big shout out to popcorn world and rated intimate as well shout out to my more mods always holding it down stephen ocon hippie goes uh, Jennifer Reeves, definitely appreciate it. I said something earlier about the uh, price going up on the tickets tomorrow. Actually, they don't go up. I read that, that comment wrong uh, okay. from somebody from the stage crew, but I apologize about that. But you still should act tonight uh, and go ahead and get that 48-hour review link so you can watch it all weekend long. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to Kiera LeBaron, Troy, Alice Marie, Shireen, Adam, J-Mo, Jessica Wright, Brother in Blue, uh, taking the stage and Jose, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for the donations. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow, most likely at uh, Best Silent Listening Party. We're gonna try to find something short, man. Something like five tracks we can get in and out. Um, if we're able to make it, I don't know what everybody's schedule looks like, but if not, then I'll see you guys on Monday on another episode of some with the homies you guys.